Good morning everybody and welcome to Club Helensbar for the grand final day of the Max Morris Memorial 7 competition run by the Gold Coast Tweed District Bowling Association and uh, here it is in uh, the final day and in the over 60s we have got Helensvale versus Broadbeach and it should's a traditional game of pairs it's over 18 ends and in this game here representing the Helensvale Bowls lovers Ted Reed Skippy and Gary Hanna as the lead and representing Broad Beaches, Michael Keegan and Grant Ingham. So uh, Max Morris, for those of you who don't know, the uh, competition has uh, run over a six-week uh, period. It's a game of traditional pairs of two by two by two by two, and it's over 18 ends. We have a game of three-bowl pairs, which is on the rink next door, and that's over 24 ends. And then we have a game of two-bowl triples, and that is also over 24 ends. And of course, down in um, the Division 3 finals, we have got Chugan playing Helensvale. And you'll see a fair few of the green shirts about today because Helensvale have got representation in uh, three of the four grand finals. So, a uh, very successful year for Club Helensvale. And looking at the head here, Grant Ingham on the mat at the moment. He's not going to be too far away from this. He's just going to cut across the head, but perfect way to bowl there from Grant. I think Ted has got the uh, the green and orange bowls, and uh, Grant, you can see, has the um, Grant has the blue bowls, and of course, uh, Gary, he's got to sit this white bowl, which I tell you what, he's not too far away. <laughs> Just snuck through that little gap there, but a very good effort there from Gary Hanna. Okay. Grant Ingham on the mat again there. See the hard-working bowls. Jack of everything back there. Chris Faulkner in the background. Okay, Grant looking very handy with this one here. He's starting to come around this front bowl. He's got the run. You see the carpet here running absolutely superbly. Got absolutely magnificent facilities here at um, Club Helensvale, and we thank them very much for the use of these wonderful facilities because 20 minutes or so ago <laughs> it was absolutely raining, so uh, quite heavily... It's uh, blue sky around the place now, but um, I think the players appreciate being uh, in the protection. We see they've turned the lights on. Uh, scoreboard down there is absolutely first class. So um, Now, the other scores will be down the left-hand side of the screen, which will be the uh, three-bowl pairs and the triples. So one thing about the Max Morris is that it is a rink is a rink game so you got to win two out of the three rinks what a great bowl here from ted just oh just touched the edge of that kitty just didn't get it in the belly but a great try there from uh, from ted reed very steady player ted been around for a few years as this man here michael keegan uh, Michael holding the one he's he, he don't think he's going to sneak around this bowl he's just going to get a bit caught up with it well, he did just sneak under it. Needs about another five foot of weight by the looks of it. Beautiful grass line on that one. Hey, Ted, that's really made him a little bit harder to get through. He's yeah, just get caught up there in the uh, in the traffic. So, Michael got the opportunity now to add to it. Just got to come around that bowl. Beautiful grass line on this one, Michael Keegan. Yeah, just overcorrected his weight slightly, that's all. So it looked like two shots there. Uh, that uh, white bowl of Michael's must have still been in. Too. <coughs> so a nice start there for the Broad Beach. Joshua Beattie. Mate, you out of bed? On you, Joshy. How are you, mate? Yeah, it should be a cracking game, this one, mate. I said it's... Um, the district has uh, said we run the Max Morris. It's, this year it started in uh, February. And in the Division 1, which is this afternoon, first prize $2,500, runners-up 1000 and the losing semi-finalists yesterday get 500 each. In the Division 2... 
this afternoon. The winners get 3,000. The runners up 1,500. Losing semi-finalists yesterday afternoon, 750. And the losing quarter finalists, which is yesterday morning, get $500. Division 3, the winners get 4,000. The runners up 2,000. Losing semi-finalists yesterday afternoon, 750. Losing quarter finalists yesterday morning get 500. And in the over 60s, it's 3,000 to the winners, 1,500 to the runners up. Losing semi-finalists yesterday afternoon, 750. Losing quarter finalists yesterday morning get $500. So that's the breakdown in the prize money. So adds up to, um, with my and everything, just over $30,000, which really isn't too bad for a six-week competition run by the district. So we see a couple of good starters there. Grant sitting around about four foot in behind the head and Alan probably around about eight foot just behind the head. But carpet running like this absolutely superbly. It's always good to be have bowls around the back. What a beautiful correction here from Grant Ingham though. Beautiful bowl there. Hey Mr Baker, how are you mate? G'day Andy Thompson. Watching no doubt yep from over in Devon. Good to have you on board, mate. G'day Ian. Watching from Colic in Victoria. What a great try here from from Gary. Gee whiz, he's picked up a good second shot there too. So uh, just missed, just missed swinging around that ball. He's just got the, the edge of it. I was very close to just sneaking around and picking up the shot, but uh, very good, uh, very good second shot. He's already locked in there for his team. Okay, Michael. Be first on the mat. I said it's a it's a team game, so it's really uh, rink rink wins. So it's what you're after. Um, if it's all locked up, at um, which happened quite a few times. Um, some of the games just they were just absolutely incredible. They were so tight and absolutely just fantastic. Michael just a little bit through the head, but his grass line once again spot on. Um, we one rink each and one match drawn. It then comes down the margin, and if the scores are tied, then it comes down to um, ends one. Ends one. So that's what it, uh, the breakdown of how you win Max Morris. G'day, Chucky. How are you, bud? Okay, Michael. Just got to take a little bit of weight off. You may have just overcorrected slightly here. You're not going to be too far away, though. Bit of a nuisance bowl that on the forehand, so definitely uh, it's still around because this this carpet draws just so nicely. It's um, very nice paste. Okay, Ted just trying to crack an egg on this here, and he's just going to pull up just a tad short. But gee whiz, he had perfect line on that one there too. Ted Reed. Yeah. Uh, might see a little bit more of a uh, an aggressive line down here. Uh, Grant, of course, be just trying to dead draw it. Any movement on um, on Michael's white ball there beneficial, but. Uh, just dropped his weight slightly there. Hey Gary, I thought he played a little bit of aggressive weight down through here. Just not quite wide enough. He's going to get the outside of Ted's bowl though, which he has done. Well, he's actually moved that out of the way in actual fact, so... Uh, as Grant would be very aware now that um, I'm th pretty sure that um, Helensvale have probably got the best two backwards. And if they're playing it, the weight that Gary's uh, playing it down here makes contact with that bowler, Grant's. And this is why I'm pretty sure he's coming around the back. Yeah. A very good covering bowl there by, by Grant. Okay. Gary. Just going to take a bit more grass or go a bit quicker. This is going to be a lot closer. Definitely going to get the result. Bang, what a bowl. 
and <laughs> it come off that went to the right hand side and his bowl followed it so uh, be holding two shots there I'm assuming by the looks of it Michael and um, Grant's bowl yeah definitely one probably big I think they'll win the measure for two looking at it from here anyway but I'm going off the camera angle so plenty of bowls to come to see what happens but that was a great correction there from uh, from Gary Hanna just went just a little bit quicker just a little bit more grass and definitely got the result that uh, that he was after so Michael Keegan on the mat bit quick with this one I think Michael yeah, just a bit quick very conscious of the fact that he had to uh... <laughs> Yeah, you got that right, Clinton. <laughs> Can't argue with common sense, mate. <laughs> Good to see Grant, mate. Not a great bowl here from Ted Reed. Has he got the kitty in the belly? He has. Gee whiz, that's a great bowl. Okay, Michael. Bit of pressure on him. Got a beautiful grass line on this area. Maybe just a little bit runny still. Probably looking at that, probably be third shot, I reckon. Maybe pretty close to it. So Ted really doesn't have to look at the kid, he's just got to beat that last bowl. Which, by the looks of this here, he's, he's going to do comfortably. Uh, it may not be in for uh, maybe four here. I think uh, Gary just put his fingers over that. I'm not too sure what the count was, so uh, pretty close. G'day, Jeff. How are you, mate? Yeah, it was a great bowl, wasn't it? Now, they've taken three out for sure, so they're now looking for the fourth. And I think Gary likes, likes his, yeah, four shots. Here's your pickup. Well done. <coughs> And one of my old mates just popped in to say a few words. He's looking after the um, parabolas here this morning. Good morning to Mr. Brett Clifford. G'day, Brett. Good morning to you. Mate. How are you going, buddy? Fantastic, bud. Had a bit of rain here, so I'm glad we're under the undercover. Yes, it's a great facility here, isn't it? And it's only going to get better, and bigger and better, too. They've got another green coming up starting uh, very shortly. Very shortly. A few mm. weeks' time, led to believe. And yeah. They, and they hope to have it all completed and up and running by um, late August, early September, mate. Yeah. So it's going to be another green just like this one here. Mm. So uh, colossal facilities, mate. Yeah, exactly. So uh, finals day. Final day, mate. Grand final, mate. All righty. So uh, just told the, the viewers the breakdown of the prize money is over $30,000 up for grabs. Yes. Fantastic. It's absolutely brilliant, um, this Max Morris. It's been going for a few years now and everyone looks forward to it. It's getting bigger and better every year. Well, we had 84 teams participating in it this year and... Uh, Gee whiz, the comments yesterday, I was I came up here for a while, I started off at Rabina and then came up here and mate, the players just absolutely, as you said, look forward to the competition. Oh, they do, you know, they do. I uh, got a funny feeling Serena may be watching over there because apparently I've had a missed call from her. Have you really? She yeah. told me, well they were supposed to go out and swim with the turtles and the dolphins today but the boat broke the motor and... Um, oh, really? So they were going to tune in and I was going to give the, the girls a, a little hello. Good on you, girls. You look after <laughs> your mum and dad now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so. <laughs> yeah, no, it's a great starter there once again, too. Good starter from Grant Ingham and a lovely reply there from Gary. Um, yeah, certainly from Gary. So, like I said, even um, the quality of play yesterday, though, Brett, so many games came down to... Um, Last bowl, like Pinot will be here this afternoon in um, Division Two, and last bowl win over Bo Desert. Yeah, I've seen that, that on uh, really on Facebook. They are celebrating the fact that they're, <laughs> they're here. <laughs> Mate, um, Helen's Vale playing Tweed Heads. Incredible bowl from the Tweed Heads um, pairs. Yeah, skipper. right. To get them through. To get them through. Yeah, last, right. last bowl once again. So. Absolutely first class it was, Brett, some of the... And then to see um, Broadbeach playing Burley in Division 1. Mm. What a game. 
Uh, absolutely incredible bowls played, mate. It was uh, really was first class. And we've got some good news, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, the coach of Michael Keegan, his lovely wife Julie, is entering the premises. Yes, so she will uh, glance over in his direction and um, hopefully he'll do the right thing. <laughs> 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 okay, Michael on the mat at the moment now. If, if he, he wants to impress, now's the time with his wife just walking in. And look at this for a bowl. Look what happens. Oh, geez, he knows when to play the bowl. The moment when Julie the turns, turns up, up, he plays bingo. a bomb. See that? The moment Julie turns <laughs> up, he's played an absolute bomb. <laughs> Trying to impress. <laughs> Great bowl there from Michael. Tell you what, what a reply here from Ted Reed. Oh, just going to miss wrong. this ball. Just slid by. Just slid by. But again, he's in a very good catchment oh, yes. area just there. Very handy spot there. Now, Michael really's got to come around and cover these back bowls now. Like, he doesn't want to fatten the target too no, much. No, he doesn't. they are going to attack that head. I, it's, I mean, I say attack it. It's only just over a draw. That's it's, exactly it's, right. There's nothing, you know, you don't have to go wild at this. He's got the line right, but he's just going. Well, if he gets across in front, it wouldn't be. No, he's yeah, not going to. Yeah, just not going to. This mate. is a beautiful surface they got here, isn't it? It's a very nice pace. It's running it around about 15 seconds, I think, um, Brett. And it just draws both hands. And mm. as I've said to a, quite a few of the Helensvale players, it's, it reminds me a lot of the, um, the undercover at uh, Paradise Point. Uh -huh. And as I made the comment, I said, there's no such thing as uh, home ground advantage. Because no. Everybody, after a couple of ends. Exactly. You can play good bowls here. There's no oh. demons involved in this green. No, none whatsoever, mate. It just runs absolutely first class, mate. So it's just uh, put your bowl out there and, and get to feel your weight. Yes. Now you can see, Alan, uh, Gary's not too far away from this one here. He's just going to sneak inside this. Yes. Oh, it's a handy bowl too, if it falls. Oh, it's on its edge. Yeah. It's just going to hold there, Brett. Okay, Grant. would love to be able to just tuck this over. Oh, wouldn't he what? He'd love to it, tuck it in behind the group of bowls. Not take it too far, but just, just tuck it out of sight, out of mind. Because it's a very, very gettable target. He's on a good line here. Has he got the weight to get here? He's looking pretty good at this stage. Oh, he, he needs to turn a little bit more. He's yeah. <laughs> the only thing okay. is that's uh, that's a good bad bowl. <laughs> well, yeah, it's it's a counter, but let's yeah. um, see what happens here. Yes, I see a little bit more of an aggressive line here from uh, from Gary, and I tell you what, it's not looking too bad. Very close. Has he got that little? Oh, he's very close to the jack here. An edge off Grant's bowl touches a jack. And that's that's a great weighted bowl. Oh, Very nicely played. That's why I said that last time around that was a good bad bowl. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, not to go silly, but as you said, perfect weighted he bowl. He didn't just rush to it reach and just, the head. Yes. And that's what you can do on this screen. Yeah. You can play that nice, just over draw, full draw shot. Yes. Uh, Shawnee, good to see you out of bed, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> on you, Shawnee. Hey, Nugget. <laughs> yes, mate. The... Good reply here from Grant, too. He's just going to hang out there. Yeah. Jeez, the weight was good. Well, what are we going to do? It's very hard to attack that bowl because you've got to hit it perfectly there yeah. on the inside edge for it to go out of the head because any movement on that uh, bowl, and they've got a couple of catches just sitting back and behind. They have, yes. Good on you, Shawnee. Hey, good on you, Mark. How are you, mate? Mark Rennie. Well done, buddy. Okay, Ted. Yeah, probably backhand's a safe yes, shot. Yes, it is. There's a nice little port in there. there. Just those two blue bowls. He gets yep. in between them and flops onto the white. Yeah. Yeah, that's what he'd be looking for. Inside edge. Well pointed. Yeah, he's got it. It's very well pointed, mate. It's starting to work now. Has he got the run to get there, though? Oh, he's close. He needs to get by this one now. He just hasn't got just that weight. The line was perfect. Just running out of legs, mate. Mm. G'day, Wilson. How are you, champion? Well played yesterday, too, Wilson. He had a brilliant game. Game, yeah. As per normal. Yeah, very steady player, mate. Oh, he certainly is. Very underrated player. Oh, boy. I don't see him have a bad game. No, no. <laughs> he's... He's not human. Get out of it, Wilson. <laughs> G'day, Mary. Good morning to you from Fife in Scotland. 
I was just wondering if these people in Scotland ever sleep. Must have insomnia. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody in Scotland always comes on board and watches it. Well, you've got to watch your bowls and you've got to have a wee dram. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay, Mike on now. He's very oh, close isn't to this. He? What? Very, very close. What a magnificent bowl. It's gone over to... Gr oh, did he get shot or not? Yes, he got shot. Got one. Got well one out of played. What a great bowl by Michael Keegan. Gee whiz, since Julie turned up, he's really turned it on. He's on fire. <laughs> <laughs> if you could see the look he's given us. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. He really did enjoy that comment. <laughs> Uh, good that call. was, and it wasn't an easy shot that because Mate, you had to play the perfect weight Mate. through that port. Yeah, played it brilliantly. Mate, he played that absolutely magnificently. No, it's Ted Down having a very good look at this. I think you'll probably play this on the forehand, looking to possibly draw it. Well, they've got a few bowls they've here. They've got a couple out the back, but yeah, if it goes have. wrong, he could go a few down too. Though. Yes, if it if it springs out square, but if it if it, if he can get it back, yeah. about a meter or so, they've got a couple waiting there. Oh, they have. So this anyway, man, this man here is more than capable of uh, of doing it too. Here we go. Okay, Ted Reed on his forehand. He's got it out there. Probably he a little bit pr too yes, much weight. Yes, I, I think so too. Probably just well, just a little bit on the wide side. Side, yeah. Yeah. Look, yeah. the weight's not bad. Yeah, in at actual fact, the weight's not too bad yeah. at all. But looks like that there came a lot further than I thought it did there, uh, Brett. But uh, it's just a little now bit Grant's bit. saying, look, we got one. I'd be suggesting if you got one and there's no more bowls after this, you take the one. Yeah. I think he might be just going to take the one. Yep. Grant, take the one. Take the one, yep. Okay, well, he's backing him in here. Well, if he can get through the port and sit sit the red, mm. he can make three. Yep. Yeah, okay. Right here. Well, you've got to back yourself. He's Thanks very much, Mr. Walker. A little bit underdone yeah, grass. Yeah, look, I think he was very tentative now, about that. how he gets this, though. No, yeah, he's no, got too right. much of it. But that was a good attempt by Michael once again. It, it was. A bit dangerous there, though, to be <laughs> you know. Yeah, thanks very much, John. Good to talk to you too, buddy. We'll keep in touch, mate, that's for sure. Good morning, Paul. Paul Whiteman. Uh, you can see the other scores there um, down the screen. We've got, of course, we've got uh, Broad Beach up on top. Mm -hmm. And... For those viewers out there that play golf, there's a name there that you all should know, uh, the great Aussie Moore, um, great commentator in the golfing fraternity. Brett, over the Certainly years? Certainly is. Just an absolutely fantastic guy too, and it's great to see Aussie now playing our great game. Well, I'll tell you what, with, with weight control and consistency of delivery, he yeah. would have to be a good bowler. He is, mate. You he generally is. find there's a few things in sport that really relate well to bowls. Yeah, well, golf is one of them. Oh, yeah. Golf is one of them. And the best part about it, as I've said to him, I said, you don't even need a caddy. So you, you save money already. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think he wins as much playing bowls as he did playing no, golf. No, I don't somehow. think the money side somehow. of it would be there. Yes. <laughs> It's one thing I said to Kepler Vessels there a few weeks ago, talking about uh, other sportsmen that play the game, our great game, and Kepler, absolutely champion guy, champion bowler too, as he was an opening batsman. Oh, God, I yes. I said, Kep, oh. Kep, there's only one thing you've got to do, son. He said, what's that, Brian? I said, next time you win the toss, instead of batting bowl. <laughs> <laughs> but what a great guy. Kepler is another true champion from another sport. Oh, yeah. Classy and, batsman. And, but what a great... Bowler is turning out to be too. from what I've seen of him. Yes, yeah. very, very much so. Very, very uh, competitive nature, which mm. is very good, and playing at the highest level, which is also great to see. Yes, he's going to get a little bit of a lucky result here. Yep. No, he's round it. Just yeah, gonna, well, that's well, not too bad. That's a shot bowl. Yep, pretty handy. Grant mm. just uh, a little bit in behind the head with his two. But, um, up to the skips now. Hey, good on you, Johnny. You enjoy, mate. G'day, Ashley. Says, come on, the Bulls. Okay, down to Michael first up. Dead draw this. 
Got around about four foot by the looks of it, uh, looking at it from the camera angles there, Brett. So yeah, yeah. You can see just a little bit of distortion down there. That's just the adjustment that we have uh, coming from the light where they've got the mat, as you can see down in the light area. It's just really, it's a, just a, the adjustment from, you can just see it down there when they're standing on the mat. Yeah, it's artificial lighting really. That's the guy. Which is far better than artificial intelligence. <laughs> <laughs> Ted. Ooh. Yeah, there's that. Uh, there's that bowl. Yeah, that's... Um, now there's a wall, so Michael, will he back himself just to get around the, that last bowl? If, no, he's got to change, yeah. yeah he's it's going to be right in the road there, yeah. that bowl. He's yeah. probably got two and a half foot. Oh, ball, for sure. The yeah. absolute, so he's just got to be conscious he's got to be around this one, which he is. He's got a perfect line on this one here. He got a little edge off yeah. it, so, okay, it's a little handy bowl there. Yeah, well, it's come to a pretty good home, and it's given... Um, <coughs> It's giving Grant options for when he um, goes back to the have his next two bowls. Yeah. You can see that Ray Perkins has slipped out to a bit of a lead there over over Nick. Yep. On the other rink. I tell you what, Ted's played this pretty well too. He's here around this bowl. And oh, that's a ripper of a bowl. Look geez. at that a little touch. Oh, did he touch it? No, no, he didn't. But he's he's probably only about a bowl to six inches behind the jack, right on line. Well, probably the shot I'd play now would probably be on backhand. On the other hand? Oh, backhand, trying to, trying to uh, get Kitty. Mm -hmm. Or sit that bowl out of the head. Or um, draw a second shot and then have a go at it. Yeah, mm -hmm. mate, you've got to play dangerously, <laughs> mate. You know, mate. <laughs> I, Rather I, win by one or lose I, by I, ten. I, I think Michael might like second shot. Then he'll say, OK, uh, there you yeah, go. Yeah, but, mate, no, <laughs> they want to go last. They can put up the pressure. <laughs> uh, a little bit underdone grass, yeah. grass line with this one. Exactly. Uh, a little bit underdone weight, too. Yeah, he was. He's, he's probably a metre shy of the jack. Yep. Maybe even four, yeah, so... He won't be happy with that. No. Let's send your, your opposing team now to, to get another bowl. And if they, they get one in line a foot or so out, even if they roll this bowl over here, geez, I tell you what. That's oh, great it's, bowling. Yeah, it's another little bowl behind. Well, it's a pretty handy location there too. It is. Now, Grant, Grant's got to get second shot here. Yeah. That's what you'd be looking for now. Yeah. Second shot. And he's not wide enough, I don't I think. I don't know whether he is, No. Unless he's got perfect weight, he could get second shot yeah. under the head, but I think this is... He is going to sneak under, but I think he's just going to yeah. cut. Well, Helen's Fowler holding three here. Yep. Got a fair amount of distance there to uh, to draw another one. Yep. Well, judging on his last bowl, this has got to be a, a wee bit narrow, but his weight is very good. Mm. Now, he can draw another shot, almost jack high here. Which he is. And see, that's blocked Ooh. off that other hand now. Well, that's why I thought they had to play that shot yeah. first up, mate. That was just my opinion, what I would have played. But yeah, that's, uh, I mean, you'd have to go big weight now if you want to play yeah. the other hand. But you really, you can't. Look, you fall down. Yep. You've got to, you've got to heal the wound. Well, the thing about it too, though, with all due respect, is that it's, um, it's really up to the players to play what they're comfortable with. And Grant was obviously comfortable with uh, getting second shot, but just cut his grass line down yeah. slightly. But you know. The one thing, it's like, um, as, as they always say, it's uh, you've got a, the grass and weight, but on this it's so consistent that if you can find that line early, it will not change. Yes. Yes, that's ever so true. And I think Michael's going to... Uh, He's thinking, you can see, whether, am I going to hit this? Am I going to draw it? Am I going to hit it? Am I going to draw it? Mm. He's got on the map with an open mind. He probably needs to... OK, he's made his decision. He's playing weight to it. It's yep. going to have to be fairly big weight. Yeah, he needs that jack. Now. He's awfully close. He got that jack. Well played. That's a great bowl. Yes, played that's that um, very, very well, mate. That's backing yourself. Four down, he misses that. If he's he five trouble. down with a bowl to come, and if he's he misses trouble. that, he's... Yeah. Yeah. Well, OK. Breathes a sigh of relief. And he didn't look like missing it. No, nah, mate, from the moment that when his hand mm. left his hand, you knew that was going to be pretty close to it. You know what I mean? Yeah, so. well played. Yep. But as you said, he backed himself. Yep. Good morning, Timmy Phillips. How you going, mate? Hope you're keeping well. G'day, Ray Thorne. 
Good morning to all our viewers. Yes, and don't forget if you're down this way, drop in because there's plenty of action on all day here. There certainly plenty is. Plenty of finals to be had and great bowls. And this afternoon also too, we've got the uh, Division 1 and Division 2 finals. Mm -hmm. There's going to be some great buzzers. Some of the players playing in that uh, absolutely outstanding uh, quality players. Some of the games yesterday was absolutely superb. So, Grant, just again, just a little bit underdone. Yes. Weight's perfect, He though. is, and he's, he's just not trusting that line. Trust the line, it'll turn. Oh, carpet like this, absolutely beautiful pace, yeah, though. Uh, it as is. As we were saying before, though, Brett, absolutely fought first class, mate. Of course, Brett's here this morning to help with the parabolas. See a couple of them starting to rock in, mate, which is good. Yeah, good. It's good. But, uh, don't worry, Serena. It's in good hands. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm sure Nev and Pat will be over there shortly. Yeah, of course they will. I can see a few of them over there already. Keen and Eager, which yeah. is great. G'day, um, Pete. How you going up at Bribey, buddy? Hope you're going well, Pete. Now, he's taken the grass, but he's backed himself. Yeah, just and again, a good weight. So he's he's trying, he's trying hard to find that line. So yeah. not much in it. He was his first bowl. Yep. He probably only needed a bowl width. Yeah, yeah. And the weight was very good. And weight was good with his second bowl too. Oh, absolutely. Now Gary just got to sneak in front of this one. Close. I'd Ooh. say Grant probably still have the shot there. I'll tell you what, it'd be a damn good measure though, wouldn't yeah. it? But I would back Grant. Yes. Uh, sometimes that flat lying bowl is the one that does the damage. Mm. Plenty of room there. Yeah, they right to so the way these two skips are playing, they'll uh I don't think shot bowl's been played <laughs> at this stage. So. Yeah. yeah, look at that there, yeah, definitely Grant's got shot there, mate. Mm. But, uh, good camera angle there too. Thank you, Robbie. Yeah, well done Robbie. Good to see Tony's taught you well. <laughs> okay, Michael. Now he's gonna Has he got the kitty? He's but got just Oof. that pinch of grass needed yeah. or carpet. <laughs> yeah, breeze ball. Yeah, carpet this time of days, mate, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> Terminology is everything, mate. Weight's perfect. Yes. It's the diet I'm on, mate. Oh, seafood thanks, mate. seafood yeah, diet, mate. Seafood need it? <laughs> seafood need it, mate. <laughs> okay, Ted, though, he's got a good line on this he one. He has. Has he got the weight? No, I think he's just going to run yes. out of legs, but the, the line he had was absolutely superb. That's just it. Yeah, Michael. Had perfect weight for this shot. He needs to just get under. He would love to just tuck the jack yeah. away a little bit. Just a tad. i tell you what. He's going to be awfully close with this one. He is too. Oh, he right. got a piece of the jack and had good weight again. Yeah, he had very good <laughs> weight, mate. He would have loved, as you said, just get that in the belly yeah, and just take it over there. It would have been perfect. But he's still though. got two shots out of it. But well, he, he has. Very yeah. good bowl there once again from Michael. Tell you what, though, Ted. Yeah, not badly pointed here. He's corrected his weight pretty well. He certainly has, and there's a knocker. Yeah. He dragged it across. Great bowl there by Ted Reed once again. Oh, he played that beautifully, mate. As you said, he had certainly just did. Beautiful weight got it in the belly. He's tucked it in behind there. Now they probably lay two shots, and um, they've changed the head completely. Yeah. Now Grant's been playing that hand that. Uh, that skip just came down on, so there's no real change there for him. No, he's uh, it's a nice little shot in there for him, in actual fact. If he wanted to play just a yard through the head, but um, I think they've looking at it there. I favour uh, Gary's bowl there for second shot. There yes, too. yeah, this is the shot I was talking now about. Now he needs to land the jack, he's awfully close for the bowl, but not the hole. <laughs> God, he got the hole. <laughs> Did I have to say that? <laughs> <He's got> the <laughs> <hole>. That was <laughs> awfully close, mate. Yeah, I think I think it had a lot to do with the weight yeah. too. He probably had a pinch too much weight on that. I reckon Glennis Glennis Reed must be watching because I'm pretty sure Teddy's out here playing, mate. <laughs> <laughs> I tell you what, Gary's played this very well. Ted's yeah. getting excited. Once again, he would love to tuck this jack That's just a, a fraction bowl. more. That's a good bowl. And right on it. Yes. Well, and with that last bowl of greens, it would have stopped him running through the, the it hole. Would have too, too. He would have been right on the money. Yeah. There's not a real lot he's got to change here. Now, he's pretty well pointed. He's got a crack and egg on this shot bowl. He's very close to it. 
He's got it. Bang. And we have... It's out of bounds. Right out of bounds by at least a foot. Yeah. Yep. Dead end. Yep. Two in a row. Yep. Oh, yeah. Yep. <coughs> Go down the other end and start all over again, fellas. <laughs> um, yeah, mate. All day. Yes. Ranger. All games, mate. On carpet today, bud. It was raining here before, mate, so... Yeah, perfect venue. Oh, mate, carpet running superbly, mate. Absolutely running superbly. So, uh, a few results from Premier League yesterday, too, was it, were interesting. I see um, Tweed beat Helensvale. Does that get them into the finals, uh, Robbie? Did that... Not in the finals, yeah, but Tweed are now, definitely. In yeah, Tweed are in there, mate. Yeah. Uh-huh. Okay, Grant. Sort of similar length they're playing most of the time. You know, it's that, uh, that two-thirds, three-quarter length. Yeah, keeping it around about that length, really, mm. uh, Brett, aren't they? Yeah. Yes, with the... Uh with the replay rule, mate, we could be here for a while. <laughs> well, yeah, there's <laughs> no they keep the way they're hitting. <laughs> they anyway. should make it if you kill it three times on the third time, it's respotted <laughs> somewhere on the sidelines. Yes. <laughs> True, too, mate. This is a better starter from Grant. Okay, that keeps the skip happy. <laughs> yeah. Um, Luke Broadbeach, Broadbeach one um, at. Um, Rabina, mate. Yesterday afternoon, I was watching that game. It was a colossal game. They were uh, they beat Burley Heads in a very high quality game in uh, Div One, Luke. Good day, Nan Smith. Good to have you back on board. But uh, Luke, it was an incredible game. Could have gone either way, mate. Uh, Burley, Burley played great too, mate. They really did. It was a great game, and in actual fact, all the games there yesterday, probably except for that one. It went down to the very last bowl played. Just um, Benoa beat uh, Broadbeach. Uh, but no, sorry, beat uh, Bo Desert. Yeah. Very last bowl. Last Great bowl. bowl too it was. And, uh, <laughs> it was just absolutely fantastic. Yeah, mate, all three greens were just there. Yeah. Brilliant day. Well pointed here. Has he taken a bit of weight off? Uh, he's just going to run yeah, through. Yeah, he's through through taken a, a bit off. Yeah, it's a handy bowl there. Yep. The Grant's holding shot. Okay. Okay, mate. See you shortly, Lukey. Michael Brindle. Mate, about time you got out of bed, Michael. <laughs> Hope you've been to church, son. Of course. Yep. The Pe roof would fall in, but anyway. Was it? <laughs> people like Michael have got to pray for people like you and me, Brett. <laughs> <laughs> Don't say any prayers for Robbie. It's too far gone for him, mate. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Ma Michael with his first ball. <laughs> Been playing very well, Michael. He has been, mate. Mm. For a guy that is a casual bowler. Yeah. And uh, this is a cracker if he gets that, Jack. A nice handy bowl, too. That's yeah. another shot. Yep. And that's what you classify Michael as these days as a. Uh, yeah, well, they like to get around a bit, him and yeah, the Mrs. Him and Julie, mate. Yeah. They do a fair bit of travelling. They like to, yeah. Power to them. Just a fraction wide. The weight yeah. is perfect on this bowl. Yeah. Okay, so Broadbridge holding a couple. Yep. Michael's a little bit thinner on this one. Yeah, a little bit underdone mm. grass line with this one, mate. If he sits his bowl of Grant's, though, and stays... No. Well, he's tidied up the head a bit. Yeah. Well, Michael, that's not like Lacey letting you uh, mow the lawns, mate. She's normally... Uh, Tell you what, Ted's got a beautiful line on this one here. He has. It gets down to weight now. Mm, just a bit he runny. He needs to sit. No, he's got through the gap. Just a bit runny. I mean, it's not far over. It's like half a metre. Yeah. But, yeah, such a smooth. Mm. Well, you know, if, if, you, if you can't play good, consistent bowls on this, I'm sorry. Yeah, it's beautiful but. pace, isn't it? You know what I mean? It really is. It is. So, uh, yeah, it's very unusual, Michael, that you're mowing the lawns because most times you... Send a picture of your uh, 
your lovely wife Lacey mowing the lawns, Michael. So, uh, yeah, good to see she's uh, let you on the ride on for once. Yeah. Or are you doing your acreage with a push mower because you won't have Oh, I bet. <laughs> because <laughs> wouldn't surprise me, Michael. Okay, Grant with his next pole. <laughs> Looks a little bit on the Errol Flynn side. But anyway, yeah. we'll see what happens. He's got a slight, slight little wobble on it, which will sometimes hold a bowl up on this surface. Jeez, the weight wasn't too... Yeah, just the <laughs> weight, I'm saying. Yeah, half a metre. It did hold up, too, because he had the tight line on it. He that. had the tight line on mm. it. Right. Gary comes down to his weight now, too. The weight's very good. He could actually sneak in the old knock on the back door, and here it goes. Yeah, he's There's got the it. shot bowl. Great bowl. Yes, nicely played. Uh, Michael tells me one thing, that uh, Lacey's not watching or she's still in better sleep, mate, if you're saying that. <laughs> <laughs> Good on you, buddy. Not badly pointed here from Grant. He is close. He's just got a bit too much weight or a bowl narrower. There's plenty of catches there for him. Yeah. They've got two seconds at the moment and a nice little catcher. Repeat performance needed here. Yeah, he needs another one in there because he knows they've only got the one in the head there. Uh, which now, he just needs to beat this front bowl, and I think he will too. He will. He's played that That's very well. That's two cracking bowls. Yeah. And rolled the shot bowl over right on the line. Yeah, but, gee, where's both those bowls would go, though? That's the only well, thing. it's a, yeah, they, they could. You know, that's the only... The, if you're a, f a bowl wide, you take your own two bowls, two bowls straight out. out the head. Which means that then you uh, <laughs> go back to the draw. <laughs> so, once again, do you arrive to it with the sort of weight Grant just used? Try to get the split, get one of the bowls through the jack. Yeah, I think that's what you play, mate. Yes. I think you try and roll the shot bowl through the jack mm. or get the edge of the jack, yeah. Bit of a percentage shot there. So. Oh, I see Michael breaking into a bit of a jog down well, there. Oh, yeah. Jeez, he must have been running around the block getting fitter. What's he doing? <laughs> mate, this young kid's got to calm down, mate. <laughs> Just a nice steady walk's good enough. He's trying to play the same shot Grant played. He's just a, probably a bowl narrow. But he's going to roll this one through. Ooh, oh, not quite. I think now... He's going to have to play with his next one. Big weight. Get his own bowl through both those bowls. It depends what Ted does here, though, too, doesn't Oh, of course, yeah. Ted doesn't want to give him the opportunity, which he hasn't done anyway, to, so to lay off it, do you know what I mean? I think now it's much more weight yep. through his own bowl, yep. and he could get both the bowls. Or Grant's saying, maybe we'll play the other hand. Yeah, well, Michael's got the sensible thing. He's coming down having a good look at yeah, the head. Yeah, have a here, look. Mate. Having a good look at the head. If he plays the hand he just played and plays real good solid weight, it's yep. possible, it's almost possible to get both the bowls with his own bowl. Yep. But Grant's saying probably the b better shot is beat my bowl out there. Any edge off it and we get shot or cut it down to one. Yeah. He's having a real good look at this thing. And if I get the inside of my bowl... It's possible to get them both. G'day, Russell Hubbard. How are you, buddy? Yeah, the viewers can see that uh, Michael's last bowl is, yeah. is not touching. There's a little tiny gap there. But I, I think he'll go the percentage shot, and that's uh, draw to save. It's possible to draw the shot here. Well, even if you've got an, an inside edge off that bowl of greens. Yes, exactly right. And I think that was the... yeah. Has he got the right line? He's just going to hang out there. I think he's got the right line. It's just his weight. See you're the way right that's coming too. back on there? Oh, actually, yes, you're right. He's, he's had perfect line. Mm. It's just a little bit too much weight. I think he was in two minds. Yes, he, he was looking at that shot on oh, the other yeah, hand. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> the yeah. mind's a pretty strong thing if you it put is. that element of doubt in there. It is. <laughs> okay, so... Um, he was lucky too because Julie wasn't watching. She was in the coffee shop. I'm just looking whether they're one down... Or two down. It's it's actually hard to tell because the blue bowl of Grant's... Yeah, it's not too far away, but if Grant, if Grant can sit that out of the head, though, he's got good run on this. He doesn't want to roll... Yeah, that's it. Perfect yeah, shot. There you go. Very nice that's weight. Great bowl there by Ted. Three shots. Three, yep. Yeah. yeah well was, played. It was in, so very well played. Yeah, yeah. Good morning, Jamie Dickerson. How are you, Jamie? Hope you're well, mate. We've got a great day of bowls lined up here today. So Certainly. this being the 
over 60. But, um, Max Morris, for those of you who just tuned on, Max Morris is um, run by the Gold Coast Tweed District Bowling Association. It's got one game of traditional pairs, which is a two for two for two for two which is uh, over 18 ends. We have a game of three bowl pairs, which is over 24 ends. And we have a game of two bowl triples, which also is over 24 ends. And it is a rink win, not, not, um, not shots. It comes down to shots if it's uh, one and a half rinks each. Yeah. Then it comes down aggregate, to shots, yeah. aggregate, and if, it's, if they're all locked up, which it has been, it then comes down to the amount of ends won. Aha. Uh -huh. So uh, we try to cover all, all avenues, mate. Well, you know, the way we've been going lately, there's last bowl jobs and, oh. you know, measure for, for the overalls. Of course. Yes, there yeah. has been too, Brett. Boy. I'll tell you. <laughs> Here yesterday, uh, Paradise Point, um... Same thing there. It was a measure last bowl to see Paradise Point won the measure. They reckon by about an eighth of an inch oh for them boy. to go through 2-1. <laughs> Otherwise, it was all locked up. <laughs> oh, God. Yeah, some great bowls play. So, Grant just pulling up a bit short with that yeah. one there. See, Gary, very uncharacteristic. He just dropped his grass line. He's changed his hand now, too. So, mm. yeah, mate. Great facilities here, as you know, Jamie, here at Helensville, mate. And I'm uh, very glad that we did... Uh, we did, uh, Club Helensvale were kind enough to let us use these beautiful facilities because it has been raining here this morning. Um, yes, and scattered showers off and on through yeah, the day Yeah, and it's well, starting so. to build up again to be a little bit showery by the looks mm. of the Jamie, so, mm. yeah, it walked out pretty well. G'day, Craig Holmes. Great to see you here today, Craig. Great job down at Rabina, mate. Yeah, we thank our host clubs, which was Rabina and Paradise Point, as well as Club Helensvale, for the the use of their amazing facilities yesterday. It really was an absolute pleasure to uh, to go around the clubs. All right, plenty of room here. So um, Aussie skipped out there to a 10-3 lead as well, and uh, Ray still in front. So. Um, on in front on all three. Yep. Ellen's Vale. Oh mate, two uh two powerhouse clubs though really, aren't they? Like Oh I'm, yeah. Don't get me wrong, we've got some incredible clubs on the Gold Coast, but uh gee whiz, you know, you talk about strength wise and everything, uh, these two clubs really powerhouse clubs. Have been for years too though, oh, right, haven't they? You know, yeah. so but uh great vision and um and um just an absolutely incredible achievement to uh, see what the board of management with of course Wayne Moffat at the helm um, have done to turn this into a, a world class facility. Oh boy, I'll tell you what, um, when they get the other green done, yeah, it's going to be amazing. Yep. And obviously they're going to hold some big tournaments and you're going to see a lot of uh, things happening at Helen's Farm. Well you can see that coming down the track mate, can't mm. you? You see another great bowl here from Ted. That's good correction. Even his lovely wife, wife said there if, a little while ago, great bowl, Ted. <laughs> <laughs> and what a bowler. <laughs> now, not a bad line on this if he's got the right way. Yep. And I don't know whether he's got the I right way. I don't think way. he's here, mate. No, what a shame because his line is perfect. Yeah. Mate, that's a great effort, Michael. So, um... Very well done, mate, to make the uh, playoffs in the uh, GH, mate. So congratulations. So obviously uh, Dakota must be skipping your rink these days, is she? <laughs> Good on you, Michael. So advantage lies here to the Helensvale uh, combination. Yes. Look, there's plenty of room. Yep. It's just finding the right and trusting the line. Even though you can see a group of broad beach bowls in front there. Yes. There's at least a metre and a half of distance between them and the jack. There's plenty of room to get around them to draw the shot. Yep. Okay, Gary. Even play through any of these bowls, he's going to get yeah, a result. Yeah, exactly right. I mean, it's a very good head to play to here, and he's played lovely weight to that. Little yeah. rattle around, well sit back there. There's another counter. 
Yeah, I wish he was. <laughs> Good on you, Michael. <laughs> Just having a private conversation here with Michael Brindle, mate. <laughs> oh, dear. Now, Grant, he looks a little bit tight. Yeah, I think he's going to crash. Yeah, what a shame. He probably had... No, he would have had good weight, too, because he's rolled that bowl right up to there. Yeah, yeah, he would have had ideal weight, mate. Oh, boy. But see, that wind's just picked up slightly now. I don't think the conditions have changed that much. No. But it has picked up just a little bit. That... Uh, I'd classify that as being the wider hand of the two, just feeling the wind there, uh, mm. though, Brett. So. I mean, this is becoming an absolutely nightmare end for the Broadie boys. Grant yeah. needs to play a nice little saver here. Right to his foot, anything inside yeah. that. Well, Second shot's good. Shot's great. There's still a fair bit of room. Well, he's got better grass line on he this, He has. Mate. If he's got the same weight of his first one, no, he's... Once again, he actually did have good weight. Yeah, to he get didn't, there. He didn't trust the gra grass. No, yeah, get it out there. It will draw. Oh, absolutely. I think it heard Michael say to Grant before he played his last bowl, get it out to my foot and don't be narrow. Or did he say well, something? Grant, <laughs> Grant's just indicating that they're six down. Oh, yeah. There's still plenty of room. It's sort of, you get on yeah. the matters of skip here, you say to yourself, look, I've got a metre to get inside those shot bowls. Yeah, yeah. I've got two bowls. Let's get on the mat. Let's do it. OK, Ted. You can see that little port through there, but you he knows can. any movement in which he's not going to exactly. do, he's pretty close to this port. He doesn't have to even. He makes no, contact with that, that bowl. really good bowl. And that's a great bowl. And he's still got that bowl in the road out there. Now he's put a yeah. jack eye bowl there and another counter. <coughs> you can look at this all day. You've got to back yourself. Back yourself to draw the shot. Those yep. front bowls are a metre and a half out. Yep. You beat them, you almost get second shot. And the one thing about it is that Michael know, now knows how his wife feels at times. <laughs> <laughs> Julia, of course, an absolute great player. And a oh, lovely, absolute lovely legend. Lady. Mm -hmm. she, of course, she skipped a rink for New South Wales as well as Queensland and played for Australia. So. Oh, yeah. But she hasn't won or done. Isn't it's worth doing. No. <laughs> That's true. I can see the shake of the head as he's looking at the head. Yeah. He needs to back himself. I yeah. don't want us to talk too yep. loud because he's on the mat. It's yeah. a very crucial bowl. Yeah. Yeah. And he can hear every word you yeah. say. So we'll be quiet. Yeah, go. It's a great game, isn't it? Good morning, Rosie. How are you? Good to have you on board. Is he going to play through weight through some of these, or is he going to dead draw it? He can't dead draw it if he's out there. As you said, he's just got to back himself just to come around those bowls. Gets down to weight now. His line is very good. He's too it's quick, gonna, mate. Yeah. Just a little bit too quick. That's all it was. Now look how far that's come back in. That's come in, mate. If he had yeah. good weight on that, that would have been shot. Yeah. Even second shot. Yeah. Yeah, he's... Uh, Ted. <laughs> I know what I'd be... Yeah, well, he doesn't have to change his hand. He's, He's going to play the back I was going to say, if he adds just short, just past this bunch of Brody bowls... He's going to make it a lot harder oh for Michael boy. to get in. And then he will have to play a yeah. pitch bowl. I think he's playing with... A little bit of positional bowl here, mate. He's going to get another counter out of it. Yeah, oh, it's still camp. Yeah. Oh, it's come through a bit too far. Yeah, probably just a couple of couple mm. of rolls too many, but uh, Michael, come down and have a bit of a look at this. Yeah, he's he's. I think he's keen to play with weight he down wants, through he there. Wanted but to he, play weight on the. But if he w if he did that, he had to do it with his first bowl. He had to. Not yeah. his second bowl. No. Second bowl's too risky. I mean, you're rolling the dice and hoping for a double six yeah, if you, if you yeah. hit this head and expect one of those bowls to come yeah. up and stay in the head. Uh, pressure bowl here, as I said, he now realises what his wife's put up with all her bowling career. <laughs> <laughs> um. Okay, Michael, he's on the mat. Gonna I think he'd probably just play his own shot again there, mate, which is try and dead draw it, I think. Like, I mean, he has got the opportunity to get second shot. Yeah. 
he corrects on his way. I heard the call there. Go, puppy. Yeah. Just as he delivered the bowl. But yep. Look, if it turns, if it turns, what if it bowl. turns, it's got to turn. Well, that's he's, he's that might be second or third shot. Maybe not. Uh, no, I might be overestimating that. These back bowls are most likely in, and that one as well. That's two. I put a good bowl there from Michael. Very good bowl. Really eased the pain. Three, was it? Yep. Well, he was seven down. Oh, oh yes. I mean, one inch less grass, he gets second shot, shot out of that. Yeah, that's right, too. Yeah. So, very good attempt. Well, that's it. You've got to back yourself on those um, on the draw shots sometimes. Yep. Yep. Your mind's telling you different. But you've just got to get down to all those roll-ups you had. Yeah. And the consistency in your game. <laughs> that's true, too, <laughs> mate. Or, then again... The roll-ups you didn't have. have. I better hit it. <laughs> yeah, well, that's true too, <laughs> isn't it? <laughs> Ever so true. But we've definitely got a uh, great game on our hands here. We have. Look, you know, this can swing around very quickly. Plenty of ends to go. Yep. Early days. I mean, you've only got to get a couple of ends in a row. That's all you've got to do. You don't need to get fives and sixes, you know. If it happens, that's great. But you need to string a few ends in a row. Get that confidence back and get a bit of a move on. Yeah, good starter from Grant. Just... Uh Needs about, about another three and a half foot of weight bullets of that. You're right about this hand. It's compared to the other hand. It seems to be just holding that last little bit. There's a nice bowl here. Yeah, beautiful correction from Great Gary. Great starter. Gary's oh, well, first yes. bowl just, 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 just dribbled into, in. into the ditch. Yeah. yeah. Well, he certainly knows how to correct. And that's a good bowl. Yeah, good bowl there from Green too. Just a little bit under the grass line there. That's Once all. Again. The weight was very good. Yeah. It goes to show you, like, Grant's a very accomplished type of player there. Mm. And, and just shows you how good the Green's running, where he's just not backing himself to take that little bit of extra extra grass, is it? Yeah, you know, just trust, goes, trust it to, trust uh, it, yeah, to yeah. come back. And that's what you've got to do. Yeah. Your mind's saying, I'll oh, get away with a bowl tight, it'll be all right. Ah. But no, it'll, it'll turn consistently. Yep. Good morning, Anne-Marie. And Marie Kane. Okay. Ted once again got a perfect grass line. Starting to work its way into the head. Just yes, going to sneak its way just around the back. It's not too bad. It's a handy ball. Line was pretty was pretty good, mate. Mm. Well, Michael, he'd like to just draw one flat on it, flat yeah. toucher, and go, OK, let's forget about the last end, let's get going let's here. Let's get going here, yeah. yes. Now, line-wise, it's very good. Yeah. He's close. Has he got the weight? Has he got enough weight? Oh, he didn't need much. Not yeah, three-quarters of a metre. Yep. Still an open draw. I notice on a couple of the other games, one in particular that was down 10-3 is now 12-7. So things can turn around very quickly. Very quickly, mate, yes. You know, so and it's early days. There's plenty of ends to go on all yep. the games. Nicely pointed here. Yeah, he's played this well again. Just a tad runny, though. That's uh, all it was, yeah. Jeez, he get, he's getting his line perfectly. Yeah. No, that's for sure. Now, Michael, three-quarters of a metre. Puts yep. a metre on it, he could set the shot bowl. Put it. It's uh, a good bowl. Yeah, it's a very good bowl. Nice there, second mate. shot. Yep. Well played. Tony Tully. G'day, Tony. How are you, buddy? Member of Boat as a Bowl Club. 
pretty handy player too. Because Tony's um, visually impaired. Yes, exactly right. Yep. The member here for years at Helensville. Well. Certainly has been. And uh, very good bowler. And not a bad guy either. Tony goes like all him. right, mate. <laughs> And here's Nugget. Nugget's out of bed, Nugget's ladies arrived. and gentlemen. Nugget <laughs> is out of bed. Rather, that or he's sleepwalking. One of the two. <laughs> Aren't you, Tony? Right. Right, Gary on the mat. He wants to keep off this bowl here of Michael's. He is around it beautifully. Oh, that's a nice bowl. Yeah, that's very well played. Oh, boy. That's a good bowl. Now, do you play into it? Get one close, yeah. Only got one bowl in the head. Yep. Yeah, look, he's a little bit on the Errol Flynn side, I think. But that's it is holding. Look at that holding. Running well, isn't it? Because of the breeze just coming across on the other yeah. side. And that yep. was good weight, too. Perfect weight for his half, mate. Mm. And he was a little bit wider. Any movement on Michael's bowl would have been very beneficial also, Would have been too. perfect. You know, yes. that type of weight mm. you know just r get it away from the um, yeah. the line of the yeah. uh, the shot that needs to be played and again too Gary's got a good line on this one here it comes down to his weight so it starts working its way into the head he's only got to beat Michael's bolt geez the weight was good he's just a little bit on the on the wide side yep look he's he's looking at this and thinking well I get him to play it yep I yep. get him to let's operate on the head Bowls neat would be nice, but they could get your aim, but you'd open that head. Now, playing with weight. He needs to hold, even if he gets that and bounces it <laughs> over there. <laughs> There's no luck in bowls. What are you talking about? Mate, it shows you that's pure skill by that bowl like that's it, Bruce. And, and we don't write that on the cards. No. <laughs> <laughs> Good call by the skip. Yep. <laughs> he got a great result there. He did. Right? Yeah. Well. Okay, Brissy, how are you, mate? <sighs> well done, yesterday, buddy. G'day, Richo. I'll give you a tingle uh, later on, Richo. I think I can get your lift down, mate, if you need one. Grant's giving me the look, mate. Oh, you had to have perfect weight. Oh, mate. You don't have that sort of weight, you can't get the result. Jesus. But the one thing it is, there's plenty of room to draw the shot. Believe, oh, even though is. it's in the ditch, there's a metre. There's about a metre of room, isn't well, there? Well, this bloke's more than capable of drawing mm. this, mate. He's a very, very steady player, Ted Reid. And on this never hand... Far away. Jeez, he's played this pretty well, it's, too. It's very drawable. Look at this for a bowl. This is a very, <laughs> very good attempt. He's missed out, boy. Not much. Yeah, a bit over a foot, so yep. it was a very good try. Yep. If he hasn't got shot, I don't know. I'm can we get a... Robbie, can we get the other camera looking just to... Have a bit of a look. Just a quick... Yeah, OK. Gee, I'll tell you what. Well, I, <laughs> I don't know. The call from uh, Gary was... Uh, Michael, that's a very good attempt by it Michael. It was, yeah. And it just fell there, so... That's... um. Hmm. He gets out a fraction wider on this, he'll draw the shot. That's yeah. for sure. His weight was good. Yeah. He doesn't need any more weight. He needs a fraction more yeah. carpet. Yeah, I'll give you a tingle later, Richard. Okay, Ted, once again, any movement on his own bowl, he's just yeah, a little bit wide for that. He is, and he's just going to yeah. tickle into the But dish. he had the weight that he was after. Oh, yeah, touches. Yeah. To get that result. Yeah. Michael needs to beat that bowl, as we can see there. Yeah, yeah. For another counter. Hey, mate. Okay. Oh, he needs to get to this bowl. I don't know. Oh, he might just flick it. Oh, he did too, but he's not going to stay on. Yeah. Uh, just the one, the one in the ditch. So one, yeah. two, uh, the broad beach combination. All right. Here's where you got to string a few ends together. Yep. Well, you can see the other scores. They're starting to tighten up there. Ozzy Moore, 12-7 up in front mm, of Peter. And exactly. Nick just behind Ray, 9-2. Uh, yeah, it was 9-0, so, yeah. you know, little, Nick, little Nick steps. Nick's back, mate, little exactly. steps. yeah. 
So all you got to do, little now, a little bit of tactic time. here. We got the mat right back. Okay, we're going for a minimum yes, length by the looks of it. And I tell you what, ah, oh, he's just shy. Oh, just shy, mate. Mm. Yep. Well, it would have been the shortest end they played. And it's very, yep. like when you've been playing two thirds to three quarters, yep. they drop straight on and roll that jack down perfectly to yeah, yeah. minimum length. Yes. There's a real art to it. That's for sure. <laughs> and there is too, Brett. Oh, boy. And this is, of course, what they do straight away when they know you want to play oh, minimum yeah. length. The <laughs> first thing they do is throw it. <laughs> They're going nowhere near minimum <laughs> length. Makes, uh, <laughs> put the mat back and get as close yeah. to the two as you possibly can. Exactly. Yeah, Janie, uh, Prissy and... Um, Pauline did a great job yesterday. I was officiating down here on the coast with the Max Morris. It's been a, an incredible day of bowls yesterday. We used three three venues, um, three greens at uh, Rabina, two greens here and two greens at Paradise Point. And absolutely uh, first-class bowls and uh, see these over 60 players and, the, and everyone else that's playing. Gee whiz, there's some quality players around, I can tell you. Certainly is. Even in Division Three yesterday, and uh, absolutely incredible. Like you look at some of the scores over there now in Division Three Grand Final down there, and Chugan looking very comfortable in a couple of the uh, couple of the games. What a beautiful starter there from uh, from Gary once again. Yes, yeah, a couple He's of foot shy of the jack, but right on line. Right on line, mate. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So Grant trying to just yeah. correct from his first bowl. He's done, done it pretty well too. Not badly pointed. He's just going to... Yes, he has. All the way to the jack. A little bit further. He says... Yeah, great bowl there. Fall over, please. I'll take that as well. Yeah. <coughs> yep. Well, he's certainly got it out there. Yep. And the weight was good too. Well, he's, even though he hasn't got shot out of it, he's put it in a pretty reasonable home too mm. hasn't it something that can be used so you know yes weight was good on that bowl Grant's yep. got shot one on one behind yep as they say in the classics yeah one on one <laughs> <laughs> episode true mate but definitely been some uh, definitely been some quality play here this morning this afternoon with the division one uh, should be Cracking game between Broadbeach and um, Helensville. Oh, for sure. <laughs> Absolutely. The, um, looking at those scores over there on the Chugan game, it, uh, well, you'd almost say one of them's home and hosed, and 10 ends, it's 21 1. Yeah, that's in the pairs by the looks of it. Mm. Uh, you know, see, um, look at Shane Kerr. Um, Look, a great bowl here from Michael Keegan once again. Yeah, too. that's a very good bowl. It's another counter. Like, I mean, there's there's the guts of, of Shane. Like, I mean, we all know Shane's got a pistonic leg, and he's, he's playing up this morning. His carer here is pushing him up and down the green, saving walking. So, yeah, like, that's just pure guts. Brett, it is, I mean? I'm telling you. As I said, us able-bodied people complain about it being too hot, too cold, we, or yeah, we slept whatever. badly last night. <laughs> no, yeah. You know what I mean? Or, <laughs> and these people, as I said, with Shane, okay, he's 21. One behind after ten ends, but mate, he's trying. He's trying his best he can. He's exactly doing a right. fantastic job, mate. Yeah, it's uh, to see him like in a bit of pain with the leg and that, but it's inspirational. It is to see him here playing. He just missed that shot there too, shaking his head. And his carer picks his bowl up. He saw me limping this morning. He said, hey, Brian, you want to lend him a leg? I said, mate, I would get through a metal detective if you gave me that one, Shane. <laughs> <laughs> All well pointed here. Good sense of humour, This mate. is a really good That's try. That's a great bowl there. That's the second there. shot there. Yeah. yeah. And it really gives them something to, to, to play to now, doesn't it? Oh, you know it does. Because I mean? it's, it's, it's a bowl short of jack, which means any edge off that, yeah. you're going to clean the jack up. Yeah, absolutely. Mm. And Ted's got a bowl sitting just out there to the left-hand side of the, has. Uh, of the line. It's almost the shot that brody has got to play yeah. now themselves to actually come down, yes. touch that jack, and well, change the head. If they flop in off that bowl of Ted's, mm. happy days. But then yeah. again, it then gives... Um, Helen's Vale the opportunity to it basically does. play the same shot, doesn't it, you know? So Grant's just going to play this um, yep. other hand here, trying to beat that jack-high bowl out there on the wing. But anything behind on this side of the head is a good bowl. 
And this is going to finish exactly where you said. Yeah, and this is a handy bowl. That's a good bowl. That's not going to go no, astray that's, that's a out there. Skip would be happy with that. Yeah, absolutely. Mm. Now you can see Gary yes. taking more of a of a aggressive line. Exactly. Just doesn't quite have the weight to yeah, hold. Yeah, that, that hand is just going to scoot across. But there's a couple of options he's got. He's got the he could sit the the shot bowl neat. Yep. As, you, as we said, we could get the inside edge. So now we're reverting to let's get another bowl right on it. Yep. His grass line doesn't have to change much. Yeah, he's just got out there a bit too wide on that hand. Yeah, it's working its way back But in. it's not going to hurt. Hurt there. Anything there. So it changes the weight that Helen's Vile can play to it. Yes. I mean, he'd like to get to the second shot and get the edge. Or a clean running. No, yeah. he's not. He's not going to get to it. That's more. That's more draw weight. It wasn't was. It, you know, yeah. Mate? Yeah. He needed more at draw least. Weight. Yeah, two foot of weight or yeah. half a meter sort of thing. Yep. Arrive to the jack of bowl. Now Michael's saying, well, the perfect shot is lock the jack in. If yeah. you can do it on the hand that Dan Grant just played, or you play their shot before they play it. So you either play their shot before before they get a chance, mm. or you try to draw the shot on the hand that Grant just played, get a little side toucher and lock the jack. Yep. Well. Yep. Yeah. I think that's the option. Yeah. I mean, it's possible to actually, just with good weight, get under... Get under um, <laughs> Grant's bowl and stop them playing this shot. Yeah. I mean, it's a wild shot, but I tell you what, let's just see what he does. I tell you, he's not far away, mate. He's not far away at all. He's not. He's played this pretty well. Probably just his weight. Yeah, that's all. Perfect line for what he was after. I don't think they're going to attack this very much at all. I think two foot of weight. Well, edge, you, you're edge. looking at uh, you look at like they're ten four in front. Yeah. Um, you know, yeah. this is the seventh end. One down's not a kill. Eighteen ends. One, and they one can, down. They can full draw to this. Any yeah. edge off that second shot, and they yeah. will get the shot. It's pretty close to this too. Oh, you're not wrong. This what is a, a good ball. Just. Fell short. Oh, just well, locked, in locked in, in if it, there. It's locked in. If it fell over. Yes. You know? Well, okay. All you can do here is play the absolute draw. Yep. Can't play any weight to it. No. Okay. Yeah, you've got to be very careful now, Michael, doesn't he? I'd be surprised if they don't get a little bit more aggressive now. He's coming down to look at this. Well, if he plays a bit of weight... He gets the only onto his own bowl. The only thing that's going to stop him, quite realistically, with that is that pink bowl of carries. Yes. It's uh, pretty hard, but he plays it with control. That bowl will go out of the mm. head. It's it's actually touching the yeah. Grant's bowl. You've got to so. play it absolutely perfectly, though, don't you? You yeah. know what I mean? You've got to play it absolutely perfectly there to just sneak around that front bowl of Gary's. But it looks like it's locked in there. So you think holding that bowl up. So any movement on that, and shot bowl, which is uh, Grant, should go out the head. It so. should, yeah. It's actually possible to get the second shot yeah. onto the shot, come through and actually, believe it or not, play his other bowl onto onto um, onto Michael's My bowl. bowl. Yeah. It's an interesting. Well, it's it's an interesting head. Yeah. This it is, isn't it? If he clears that short bowl, he can get a really really good result. He can here. get a very good result, mate, because he stayed there for three. Yeah. Now he's got the weight. I tell you what, he's going to be awfully close to this. He is not going to be too far away. No, he's played it well. He's just going to get under the head. Yeah. Yes. But he had the weight there, had the oh, weight there just to rock that the once That's out of it. the head. He, he, yes, as you he, said. Because as you said, he couldn't go big at it. No. It, if it, he went big at it, it would have held his line. Yeah, it would have. So no, He had to get it to swing at least yeah. two foot, two. two and a half foot. Yeah. One. Yeah. Yeah, good bowl there of Grant's. Yes, yeah, so that's um, that's a couple of ends in a row. This yep. is where you've got to string these ends together. It's only ones, but, you know, keep stringing them together. Well, it's, yeah, mate, one at a time. You know that's that? Yeah. Just one at a time. G'day, Merv Howell, watching from Bega down in New South Wales. Ah. And Brett Godchild says, good luck, Hawks.
Okay, good way to bowl there from uh, Grant oh, Ingham. Yeah, just a little bit under done grass line. Mm. You tell it was a little bit uh, cooler and a bit rainy and not very pleasant this morning because everybody seems to be waking up about now, Brett. They're all, <laughs> <laughs> they're all the starting old. to come in. Well, they tell me it's St Paddy's Day today. It's St Paddy's Day, mate. To be sure, to be sure. To be sure, to be sure. Oh, okay. Yes, I had one of the. Uh, well, I had to say. I went in to get a cup of coffee this morning, and the last behind the bar said, "St. Paddy's Day, you got green onions, don't?" I said, "Yep." I said, "Only because I haven't changed them for a fortnight. They're green." <laughs> <laughs> Good change. She said something from... about too much information at that yeah, particular stage. Yeah, I'm thinking um, runaway screaming. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, that's how I know it's St. Paddy's Day, mate, because I saw him in there putting up all the signs and everything. Well, there'll be a bit of green beer. Yep. They put a little bit of, what is it, Curacao or something in the beer to give you that <laughs> green beer? <laughs> yes, cream de mont, my friend, cream de mont. Oh, not a bad reply there once again from Gary. He's really been giving, um, he's really been giving Ted something to play to, too, yes. though, hasn't he? I mean, he's been giving him a good start up he front. He has, yeah. yeah. So, um, yes. Been an outstanding uh, combination, these two, the way they're teaming up. And Grant and Michael, too, have, uh, yeah, playing very well. So it's a crack of a game. It's really business, very much so. As I said, prize money's uh, handing out over $30,000 in prize yes, money. Yes, that's a nice bit of folding stuff, isn't it? So, well, Helensville, for argument's sake, like people say, oh, Helensville got three or four teams in the grand final. I say congratulations to them. It shows their strength because they also play Premier League and um, Premier Seven. Premier Seven, they play everything. Exactly so, right. But they put 13 teams in Max Morris. So well, what a great effort from a club, though, mate. It is. A great it effort from is. all the clubs, in actual fact, to have 84 teams yes. playing in a competition like this. It just goes to show you. But they love the format of the... It's a great format. ...traditional pairs. Mm. Three bowl pairs if you can't walk too far. Or two bowls triples if you can't walk at all. It's way to go. Exactly mate. right. Okay, Michael has to be oh. just around this. He's just going to get the wrong he side of it. Wanna, yeah, he's actually, his Ooh. weight was well perfect. left. <laughs> well left. Okay, so they're having a bit of a... bit of an ease off end, this one. They're all getting a little bit tight on the... Yes, this one's a little bit on the Errol Flynn side as well. But if he gets onto this front, no, he's not going to. And the weight was good on the that. The weight was good on that one too, yeah. mate. Absolutely perfect. Plenty of room. That's for sure. Janie Brown says it's her grandson Harper's fourth birthday. For You have a great birthday today then, mate. Happy birthday to yeah. Harper. Well, have a great day, mate. Oh. Having a bit of a look here, Michael, just to see what the yeah, damage is. Yeah, I don't think I'd even bother looking. Let's nah, be honest. This nah. I would have kicked that ball over if I was <laughs> Just give it a little tap. No one was watching. No. Just you and me would have known. <laughs> and no one in the world we would have said anything. No. <laughs> okay, Grant. Well, stage one's got to be get Head the draw. ball out there. Yep, now, and he has. if he can get by this. Which he has. Okay. Uh, beautiful. Rightio. Well done, mate. Weight was good. Well done. He needs well, to get out a little bit more in his next one. Yep. Well, they must have been down because Michael said we're holding one. Yes. Yeah. Okay, Gary. Oh, good reply. Might be just a little bit on the runny side. But he's come to a pretty good home there once again. Yeah, and, and then yeah. again, that's probably second shot, in my opinion, yeah, from here. So, you that's know the bowl Grant's got to beat. Grant's got to draw another one here. Uh, ah, Jolly, you're finally awake, son, eh? To see you up out of bed, mate. A soft sit. Yep. Like that. Well played, Grant. Yeah, two shots. Two shots. Yeah. Well done. Well played there. Bad time you got out of bed, Joel. Right. Yeah, He's not badly here, pointed. He doesn't like being down, this bloke. No, I'm he doesn't. You. And I'll tell you what, how so much weight's he got. Yeah, just his weight. That's all it is. Great his attempt, though. perfect. Yep. Well, Brody holding a couple of shots here. I think Michael would love just to drag the jack a foot over into the bowls. Yeah, yeah, I think so too, mate. Uh, 
Okay, Michael, as you said, nice little draw of the kid. He doesn't oh, want to move it too far. No, but, he, but he possibly could make four if he took it just far enough. Yes, now, right. He's got a perfect line on this, and it's going to come down to his weight now, and it's starting to work its way into the head. Oh, he's, he's not going to be too to far away. Touch this, Jack. Oh, good oh, ball. Well, well that could be another oh, counter, I'd say, but let's just, anyway, a yeah. couple of balls to go here from a Pretty close, mate. Well, this bloke here is going to have something to say about it, though. He doesn't like being down, this bloke, no, I tell you. He's, he's got a little bit of weight to hold he's here, He's going to sit this ball. Oh, what a good ball. That's really well Very played. Very well played, mate. Still holding one, but Brody. Yep, but what a great ball. Yeah, he's cut that down from three down to one down. Yep. Okay, Michael. Can, a bit dangerous. Oh, that just, ball just fell over too. But I don't know whether it made any difference because it's um, yeah. Jack High, the shot ball. Yes, look, his line was very good. Yep. Just needed that fraction more weight. So, not much needed correction-wise. No. To get the shot here. He could actually sit on the back bowl or his own bowl. Jeez, he's close. He hasn't got the weight. Jeez, that's a good tempo, mate. Ooh. 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 Hello. Ooh was a call. It, it kept running. It certainly did. We're going to throw a tape on that one. Well, I tell you what, uh, I think Gary likes it, mate. I think he does. He almost went the uh, well well yep. done one finger and then he went, no, let's measure. Let's measure it first. <laughs> then we'll go the one finger. Yeah. He's played two brilliant bowls there. Absolutely. That's in. Well played. Very yeah. good bowls. Cut it down from three down to one down, then drew the shot with shot. his last one. Yeah, no, it's well done, mate. Can't ask for better than that. No. All right, everyone, you've, had, you've got out of bed, you've had your breakfast. Get in your car, get out to Helen's Vale, and let's have a look at these finals today. Mate, should be some colossal games. They're on all day. Yep. Have some lunch at the club, have a, a cleansing ale or two, and watch some great bowlers play. Absolutely, mate. And also, too, we've got some great, um, great meals inside also, too. That's the shot, yes. So again, they're keeping it to that good three three quarter length. Yeah, it's been very consistent on the on the length. Playing good touch balls. Um, Wayne, as we've been saying, this is the grand final of the Max Morris sevens competition, and um, yeah, mate, over the sixties. Yep. Oh, oh yeah. No, mate, it's called Lawn Bowls, Wayne. Lawn Bowls. It's not bulky. It's called Lawn Bowls. Well, we hope not, because uh, this surface wouldn't yeah. tend to play too well with bocce. <laughs> yeah, Frank should be a huge Aussie Open, mate. Record numbers. Yep, absolutely. Uh -huh. Great bowl here from... Uh, yeah, good bowl from Grant. From Grant. Yes. No, what it is, Wayne, it's called Lawn Bowls, mate, and it's the Max Morris Sevens. It's one game of traditional 2 by 2 by 2 by 2 pairs, a game of 3 bowl pairs, and a game of 2 bowl triples, and that makes up the seven, and it's a rink game, not an overall result. And, oh, just sneaking through, just need a little inside mm. edge off that, Gary. But good weight on that, too. Yeah, very good weight, mate, so... Grant be looking to just come around his his first bowl by the looks of it. Yeah, he'd love to beat that last one. Yeah, just sit inside there. Give him another another counter and a really good catch. Yep. Just going to hold out his weight's not too bad at all. His weight's very good. He's only yeah, he's yep. exactly the same weight as his first bowl. Oh. Just went out a little bit too wide. Plenty of ends to go in these games. Things can turn around as I keep saying very yeah. quickly. Yeah. Um, I'm not too sure, Frank. I'm not too sure they've kept the entries or not, mate. But I know they have a problem at the moment with uh, green space in the Australian Open. That's one of the major problems. And one of the reasons is a lot of people don't understand, though, uh, Frank, is that um, Gold Coast 
Tourism Association, they put a fair bit of money in and they don't like any of the events going outside the Gold Coast area. No. Um, something that uh, when we looked at many, many years ago, uh, oh, that's the fact that we actually made a, uh, and we did, we had a meeting with uh, Nigel Smith and um, Mark Casey when uh, Mark was working for Bowls Australia at Broadbeach and we did advise them at the time to write into their f initial contract with, uh, in those days it was uh, Gold Coast City Council before they went to Gold Coast Tourism Association. We told them at the time to put in their contract that they may have to take games outside the Gold Coast region. But um, unfortunately they didn't and um, so now they're pretty well restricted from where they can, uh, what green space they have. Because when the Winter Carnival was big, we used to go all the way down to... Uh, oh, Mwollombar. Mwollombar everywhere. Oh, yeah. yeah. It was huge. We used to get, uh, I think the height of the Winter Carnival, I think it was one year we had 8,500 entrants. Biggest outdoor lawn, lawn bowls well, event in, in the, the world. world. Yes, that's right. Mm. And that was, of course, run by the Gold Coast District, and that was before... Mobile telephones or um, yes, or drawers. <laughs> Do we remember back then? Yes, <laughs> I remember the boys telling me quite regularly that uh, when they had to change someone from one venue to the other, they used to pick the phone up, dial the number, go to reception, say, "Can I have room forty-three, please?" <laughs> <laughs> Not like today, you just push a button. Yeah. Okay. So um, Helensvale holding shot here. I'm not too sure on the second shot. Maybe yeah. um, maybe Grant's bowl second shot. Beautiful bowl. That hand is playing so well. If you, if you trust it to draw. Yeah. Yeah, no, it's... it's um, see, Aussie's having a very comfortable lead over there. I said Aussie Moore, not only a great golfer and a great bloke, but uh, I tell you what, he's a pretty handy bowler too, just quietly, mate. For sure. Now, Gary, just a little bit underdone That's grass all. line. Yes, his weight wasn't too bad to get another counter. Yeah. He's probably half a bowl out of it. That's for sure. Now, Grant. He can see a track under his own bowl. Yeah, it's there to be played. It even is. a little inside edge off his own bowl. Exactly, and or even his own bowl too. Yeah, his He's own got bowl. Three little chances there. Clean, clean run, well, edge, or his own bowl. The only one he doesn't want to hit is his yeah, he's out a little bit wide, wide for, yeah. for what, he, what he needs. The weight's all right. He can play that sort of weight and, and get a result. Yeah, it's coming. Well, that's the weight he's after, just mm. to play through that bowl of his there, uh, Brett. Yeah, yeah. Played this pretty well, too. He would only need to rock that. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Grant's got to play a bit of a bowl. Same, same weight. Yeah. Tighter line. Aggressive line needed here. No, um, Janie um, will be um, doing the para bowls the final day at Broadbeach. But to my knowledge, that's all we're doing at this stage, mate. Grant, very. Oh, I got a piece of the jack and just bounced it off. <laughs> How could you miss that, mate? <coughs> Such a great bowl. Now, um, Bowls Australia do that, Joni, and that's fair enough. It's their event, mate, so... Uh, uh, it's their event, so good on them. Occasionally they allocate games. Occasionally, don't yeah, they? Yeah, yeah. We, we do. Uh, we, we, we are doing the final of the para bowls, which, yeah. uh, to me, love doing that. Oh, yeah. Absolutely love doing it. Uh, we've got plenty to do, Joni. Don't you worry about that. Keeps them off the streets and keeps them busy. We don't yeah, want to, We don't want sure. any spare time for Robbie or Brian. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes. Uh, we've got plenty to do. <laughs> uh, just a little bit runny, but good. Probably yes. a very much a attentional bowl there I, by Ted. I feel so. He needed one around the back, and uh, he was a few down because Grant had perfect weight to get that bowl where it is. He did. Yeah. Now he's bounced it off, so there's a bit more of a target now. Yep. Bit of aggression needed. Needs to swoop down. Even if he was narrow and got the front bowl, got it out the road. Has he got the weights? He's pretty close. He is very close. Oh, oh boy. <laughs> oh, mate, I don't know. I think they must have run over a black cat getting here this morning yes, or something or other. I'm telling you, it's, Gee whiz. it's no luck of the Irish here. No. Well, 
He's got to play the same bowl. Yeah, that's ever so true. You know. He's got to be careful, but he doesn't <laughs> get his own bowl uh. out the head because they now have shot and three-thirds. Tell you what, he might sneak through here, though. This is a very, has. very good bowl. But That's a good bowl. But it's given Michael it has, yeah. the perfect line, hasn't it? Do you know what I mean? Yeah, for sure. Grant's got best backward, I can see from this. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that is the problem. But I think if you get the edge off your bowl, you will clean the jack up. Yep. I think be confident and play the shot. Well, he's got the good line on it. Comes mm. down to his weight now. He needs to have a bit more aggression from his yeah, last bowl. Yeah, he just yeah. hasn't got and the weight. And he white. doesn't want to get this plant because he'll be... Yeah. Ooh. You need a bit more grass than that. Yes. Well, that's um, two, I would assume. Uh, we'll be down there, though, Joni. We'll be down having a look at it, supporting our clubs. I'll tell you that right now. But uh, we love doing the final of the Parabowls, though, Joni. It's, it really is fantastic. It's an absolute credit to the to the athletes that uh, play in that. And, you know, the thing about the Parabowls is that, like, the next day we hop up and go home and live normal lives. They live with their uh, with their disabilities forever and a day. And it's an absolute fantastic and very inspirational to go and watch these people and uh, what they go through to just participate to get out there. Exactly right. It's absolutely fantastic. It's an absolute New South credit. Wales have just held their uh, state titles, Para Bowls. It was uh, live streamed on YouTube as well. Yep, yep. Watched a bit of that. Watched a bit of that. Mm. Yep. See, um, Jamie Reynolds got beaten too, which surprised yes, me. Yes, very surprising. That very was surprising. a cracker of a game, Yeah. Matt. Oh, oh mate. boy. Mate, they talk about the uh, disability players, but gee, oh. whiz, can't they play? Well, look, he plays in the top division yeah, I sides. I, I mean, know. now... He, yeah. I, when I talk about the likes of him and a lot of the bowlers, I don't talk disability. It's like nah. Serena. I don't mention disability Middle because, yeah. <laughs> to <Yeah>. me, <laughs> play him in a game, you'll find out what I mean. <laughs> yeah, you're dead. <laughs> you're dead right there. Grant's first bowl just needs a fraction more weight. Not yeah, much. Beautiful line yes. on that one there. Yeah. Uh, look at this. You have. <laughs> Quite obviously all the old blokes are starting to wake up. <laughs> Rather than all their sleepwalking, one of the two. Looks like Richo sleepwalking. Okay, so two nice lead balls there. Yeah, two great lead balls there by Gary. You know. Once again. He's played very consistently. Like he's a he, skips. He skips has, screen. hasn't he? I mean, you get on the mat and you feel confident because if he hasn't got shot, he's got you a couple of seconds or so. Yeah. Options is what you want as a skip. You want to get on the mat with options. Yeah. Yeah, Janie, that's a true call. And that's one thing about the parabols. It shows you that anybody, anybody can play our great game. Mm. And I couldn't agree more on that one. It's, uh, you know. Now we see. This is the tenth end of eighteen ends. Still anyone's game? Oh yeah. Thirteen five. See the other games, five behind, six behind. I mean it's gettable in a couple of ends. It's All of a is. sudden the worm yep. turns and yep. you're doing high fives. <laughs> <laughs> That's the one, mate. Yes. <laughs> right, Ted. Yeah. Comes down to his weight. Yeah, and I think that's a little bit underdone. I feel that breeze now. It started. It's just changed. Yes. It's actually changed. Um, mm. it basically, as as you said. Want the jack. Doesn't want 
It does Ooh. not. Oh, Ooh, he's a bit unlucky he didn't set that back pole. Oh, well left. But he still, <laughs> he still played it. Yeah, there was a bit of palpitations going on. Yes. <laughs> and it's well left, mate. Well left. Never in doubt. He's never going to touch it. No. when to stay clear of the jack and just yeah. don't know why everybody was so worried. No one was worried. Good day, Dave. How you going, mate? Ah, uh, Mr. Baker. Sounds affected by something. Oh, okay. Okay, mate. Yep. Well, Robbie's got things going through his head, so... I can't hear anything on our We end. can't hear anything on no. our end. This is a good ball here. He's got the gap through there, oh boy. Yeah. And he actually flicked no. the jack as That's well. Right. Oh boy, oh boy. Well. Tips off him, mate. Yeah, so there's not much involved here. Grant might be just a bit on the Errol Quinn stage here. Um, I don't know whether, oh yeah, I'm back on here. There you go, there. I can hear you. Yeah. Oh, no, that's good or bad. Yeah, no, that's all right. Battle on. Battle on. Now, similar bowl. Needs to touch the jack. Yep. Playing with a bit of weight. Like, he's yeah. got those two backwards back there. So, he has, uh, and I don't know whether he'll hold this or not. No, yeah. no, that'd be a bit more aggressive. But you can see with Michael's back bowl there, though, um, the white bowl at the back there, that's mm. why he's got to play it with um, good weight. Exactly. He needs to play with no more than a metre. He yeah. trails it, he gets three to four. He sits the bowl, he makes three. Yeah. Now Grant needs another bowl in this head. Yeah. Desperately. Desperately needs another one. Uh, Robbie said he's lost the sound too, mate. So oh, that's okay. better. David Baker said that's better. We're back. Oh, okay. Burn your bakes. Okay. Not badly point. Needs a clean run here. Oh, look, he rolled that up. It hasn't helped. Well, it hasn't hurt his cause. No, it hasn't. Um, they can still get to the jack, but it's got to be perfect now. If they can get to that bowl, most likely a bit easier. Yeah. Yeah, well, that's true, too. There's a nice little shot in there. In actual fact, yeah, there's a couple of little shots they could possibly play there, in mm. actual fact. So it's... Uh, we'll see what sort of weight he's going to use here, whether he goes yep. the bowl through the port or whether he's going to back himself to trail the jack. OK, Joni, thanks for that. Still bad, OK. Got a humming noise. Don't know how. I don't know how that happened. It's been pretty good all morning. So we'll see what that does. Robbie's okay. just changing all the. We just. Uh, okay. <laughs> oh, Ted's first bowler. So he just missed. Um, how's that, ladies and gentlemen? If you can uh, let us know, can you hear us? If you can't hear us, don't let us know. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Michael. He needs to add to the head here. He needs to draw another shot just around Grant's front bowl. Uh, that's better. Thank you very much, Joni. Thanks, Bakes. Thank you very much. Gone wonky. That was us, mate. That wasn't the sound. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Michael. Oh, I don't know whether he's got the weight, has he? Even a couple of rolls. He needs to get through the port with a clean run. No, well, he's blocked quite. that shot off now. Yeah, he has blocked it off for him, mate. So, it's going to get down to... Um, Thank you very much, Louise. It's almost good. Almost a dead draw now. Yes. He can actually trail it around that front bowl, but he's got to be careful he doesn't roll Grant's bowl up, because it's, it'll be a counter if it rolls up. Okay, it depends upon his weight. It's looking just though he just hasn't quite got the weight. He wants no. to stay off these bowls. He was trying to dead draw it. Yep. And he's just taken a bit. Too. Okay, no. so. Michael needs to draw another shot here. Yeah. Thanks, Paul. Thank you very much. Uh, okay. Move. Move forward. Thanks for that, mate. Now. Michael's really got any of these bowls to yes, hit. Yes, he's, he's got to arrive to them. Yep. Not bad weight either. Now, if he gets both the bowls, which is going like to. that, well, that counts. That made a few. That made it two but or three. We got one. We got two, and that that should be the final. Oh no, Grant's 
Yeah, he's going the I think Green's going for the pocket, mate. He'll have a quick measure. Yeah. That's the thing, if you're unsure, measure. You stand around and look for five minutes. Yeah. You could have measured it by now. <laughs> <laughs> No Elvis, you got that right, Johnny. There's no <laughs> Elvis. Don't get Brett going. Oh, thank you very much. Yeah, that's three. <laughs> Hello. We got ourselves a. Yeah, we got ourselves a, a car alarm. Grant. Grant. Three shots. I hope the person with that car alarm is uh, not well, playing balls. Yeah, I I don't want to get a ball paint hammer and do something, but I. Um, you know, it echoes in here a little bit. <laughs> yeah. Well, don't worry, viewers. It's uh, not your um, sound. It's a car alarm going off, and it's echoing right through this. Uh, I see a Helen's old bloke running over there with yes, his keys. I see that. He's getting closer. He doesn't realise that gate's locked. <laughs> ah, look at that. Ah. Yeah, he just he just switched it off. He's smiling. <laughs> He's looking over, gave the crowd away. <laughs> Everybody clapped. <laughs> I, wonder how, okay. I wonder how Brian Stewart's head is after that noise. <laughs> well. So five shots in it. That's a nice starter by Grant. Yeah, nice starter. Good start. A couple of feet behind the That's head. That's all. Yeah. Twelve all. See this? Here's look at this turnaround now on yeah. the right next to us. Yeah, twelve all there. It's down nine nil. Yep. It's now twelve, now 12 all. all. Great That's five a good back comeback, there isn't by it? Nick. Yes. And the other game? No. Two shots in it. Two Seventeen shots in fifteen. In it. So this now, is really... How about that? that you know, but I don't want to say I called that, but, but I did, actually. But this is what you expect at this level, though, isn't it? You know what I mean? It's, you do. It, it you is don't first. give up. There's plenty of ends to go. It's first class. It is. Look at this for a bowl. This is good correction here, too. That's a handy bowl, that's for sure. Yep. That's only like um, a foot or so, 14 inches out from the jack. So. Yep. Well, not badly pointed here. Yeah, it's looking very good. Just going to pull up just a tad short. Oh, that's a very, very good try. But <laughs> Excellent okay. try. Yeah. So it's really, uh, yeah, it's still an open draw there on the back end for both these players. Oh, though, yes, isn't it? You for know sure. To just an open draw, so. Oh, isn't it peaceful after that horn? Isn't it? Nice and peaceful. I, was, I won't say that for viewers I was getting annoyed, but I was getting bloody annoyed. Like. <laughs> <laughs> yes. It was like a brain drill. Yeah, well, it actually <laughs> came straight through underneath the dome, didn't it? You know what I mean? So. We just need to... Yeah, well done. He's... Look, his, his weight is perfect, just about... Yeah. Well, he's half a metre through. He's actually gone out too wide on that hand. That's amazing. And yeah, as I coming feel, back the, mate, yeah. the wind's changed again. That slight yeah. change in yeah. breeze coming the other way. Yes. Yeah. So this bowl should hold up, and I'll tell you what, it's close. Very close. He's just about nailed the jack, and he has. That's a very good bowl. A great bowl there by Ted once again. Mm. He's very consistent, Ted Reed. Very, yeah. very consistent, mate. He's... Uh, been a very steady player for a great number of years, Ted. Not now, badly Michael. pointed here. Not badly pointed. Bang, oh. gets a shot out and flicks and took the, the kitty. Exactly right. Great bowl. Well played. And I think Sean's taking credit for that behind us. <laughs> <laughs> Sean reckons he taught his dad that one. I don't know. <laughs> Wrong bloke. <laughs> Wrong bloke. <laughs> <laughs> Get that into you, Brian. <laughs> <laughs> okay, this is looking pretty close to well, if Ted he gets, onto his own. He has got it too. It's gone side. What? No, oh. Grant's bowl still shot. He's still got shot, yep. yeah. But they've got now, I'd say they've probably got two seconds now too. Yeah, but for sure. They've pretty got two hard seconds. one. Pretty hard one to get at though it with that is. front bowl. Yes. 
you know, but it's also probably changed, um, probably also changed um, Grant's shot too. I think it's more on the forehand now for a little bit of a trail. You're right, and that's the hand is actually um, swinging there. So and it's wide open too. Yeah, so and you're, you're yeah. not actually looking at the jack, you're looking at the second shot bowl, yeah. the one to beat. Uh, that's ever so true. <laughs> not badly pointed. Now this hand should be starting to swing a little bit more with the wind change. His weight is good, he's just going to hang out there. All right, well, he'll make a correction on that one with his next one. Mm. Now, they can play this shot. Charlie's through their own bowl. Well, that's what they can do. They can get that bowl if he hits it square, doesn't he? Exactly right. And very, very close to well, it. Well, I'll tell you what, mate. He's oh, he's played a crack. Oh, he's just... Oh, he touched the jack as well. <laughs> mate, how unlucky <laughs> is that? Like, now, Grant can actually play the shot that you called. Yeah. Touch that jack, change this head. Yeah. Layer three. Got a tighter line. Yeah. Looks like he's got a fraction more weight. Not badly pointed here. Got to start working. Yes, it is got to now. get under. Look at that hole. Just that. Oh, oh, just his weight a was bit. good too. Yeah, it was brilliant. Well, there's the call. Yeah, this hand's just changed up that fraction. I mean, they've got plenty of, plenty of seconds, and that's a good catcher as well. Well, it is, isn't it? So it's down to the skips now. Exactly. But that, that, uh, that one bowl there is looking lonely, but it's it just is. It's hard to get to, though. Uh, as you said, the only shot really is that straight on onto um, Ted's front bowl there. Exactly right, yeah. And, like, if he hits it properly, it should not... Well, even if he just touches the kitty, they're still going to win up with two, with uh, one bowl of Gary's and one bowl of um, Ted's just sitting Michael back there. Michael would love to trail this jack about oh, yeah. a foot and a half, even two foot, tuck the jack in behind his own bowl, make three. Yep. He's got a real tighter line this time. Oh, geez, he had good weight too. Yeah, had ideal weight, mate. Yeah, well. Well, I'll tell you what. I think Ted's looking for the cannon on oh, that. Oh, for sure, for sure. He punches through that. He could almost, well, he's got to get it pretty square, so yeah. he, he could almost get it and stay for four if he gets it right. I'm Three sure um, sure Michael and Grant would love to hold this end and just give well, him that, you know. Just give him that sniff because it's really tightening up I all think, over. I think Mike would like to again. trail a jack with his next bowl and make three. I reckon so too, mate. <laughs> we'll see what happens here. Okay, Ted looking over. It looks the way he was looking. He's looking for that cannon oh, for sure. under his own yeah, bowl. Yeah. Well, he's got a very aggressive line. Mate, I'll he's awfully what, close. He's very Oh, hang on. What about the jack under the head? Bang. Oh. Well, they've... Probably picked up a couple of shots oh from there. Oh, yeah, yes, so I can see uh, the, the leads bowl back there and the skips. Yep. So just depending on where the uh, where the kitty is. Yeah, the kitty's sort of halfway between the num. Yeah, yeah, uh, there yeah, it is. Yeah. Halfway between the number and the peg. Yep. So I'd suggest at least yep. one to two, but a bit of room there, but only one bowl to be played. Yep. So yeah. big bowl needed here. Here's where you've got to back yourself. He's, he's give that a bit of a slap, and I don't know whether he's got enough weight. Running pretty well. Oh, no, he has. Too much he's weight. Actually got too, that's what the slap of the hands was for. He's got too much weight. Oh, just dropped, yeah. Yeah, he's been upset yeah. with that. Yeah, they'd be holding two shots here, I'm I assuming. I would suggest they would. By the looks of that there, and yeah. with Ted with another bowl. I would suggest that they'll make With three. about five foot to draw. Uh, like, Michael was dead set unlucky there, and that was what the slap of the hands was yeah. about. He's just a little he bit knew. frustrated. Well, you know. Yeah. You know, you yeah. know when you, you, when you let that it go, yeah. or so away. He knew straight away. Yep. And he had good line, too. Yep. Uh, the parabolas are doing a great job over there, mate. Yes, they're uh, they're very keen, and we're very appreciative of Helen's file. Yep. Um, and of course, we're going to have some sessions too at Rubina. Yes. Yes. 
Yeah, so, Ted uh, isn't going to stop. Yeah, look at that for a bowl by Ted oh Reed. Oh, boy, mate. let's show off, Ted. <laughs> yeah. Hey. No need to be that good. <laughs> no need to be that good, mate. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, well, I'm suggesting it's three. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I'd say so. Yep, three shots. Three shots to Brewer, uh, to uh, Helensvale. G'day, Reedy. How are you, buddy? G'day, Reedy. Well, plenty of ends to go. Yep. Your other teammates have got back in the game. That should give you a lift. Yes. So let's string a few ends together, Michael. Okay, looks like they're going to keep it a good medium to three quarter with a kitty. Well, the mat not right back on the tee, but back towards no, it's, it. It's sort of that, yeah, the two thirds, three two -third, quarter length, yep. and they're playing that consistently. Yeah, they seem to be having great success with it too, mate, mm, don't they? Exactly. Yeah, lovely start. That's a real good starter. Yep. When you pick up a three and your lead goes bang straight on it, you, yeah, you feel good. No, ever so true. Good starter. Now, if he's got the weight, I think the weight's the key here. Yeah, oh, that's... Just hasn't got the run, mate. No, no. About a metre shy on that one. Let me know if you see Serena bob up there. Um, no, I think she must be out. Because looks at this here. There you go. Oh, okay. Well, they were planning on going, as I said, with the uh, the dolphins and the turtle swim today with yep. the kids, and they were, and the boat broke down. Is that right? Bad luck, yes. Uh, they went to Pearl Harbor yesterday. Did they? Yeah, it's a very. Uh, yeah. Oh. Yeah, well, okay, he sat try. the head. Okay, yep. second shot. Yep. Good second shot. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely, mate. So I think Chugan's up on all rinks by the looks of it. Looks yes. like the master board there. So. For sure. <coughs> Mm. I keep forgetting to look up the, the big... Uh, the big board. Yeah, the big it's one. It's all up there, yeah, mate. It's I'm all squinting there. over there looking at the scores on it's the It's got board. all the names and... Uh, <laughs> it's um, a, it's a beauty, isn't it? Yeah, we'll get Robbie to get a shot of that after. Cause it's, it's a ripper. It's well worth showing the viewers. Uh, this is the pleasure that we have sitting here. and uh, It's a bit so like Anogra have got that. Anogra's very similar to mm. uh, Brett, mm. yes. Yes, very, very similar, mate. So it gives you all the information that you do require at your fingertips. Now, he's trying to just yeah. get to the jack. Might have just, just overplayed the weight. Just yeah, that's a bit all. quick. Yeah. The pity is that he's actually yeah. dropped in the bin, and that's, um, yeah, he wanted a live bowl it, back he there. He wanted that back there, mate. Yeah. yeah, he definitely needed it back there, For mate. For sure. That way, when you get it with your next, you, uh, you may yep. too. But anyway... I think Ted's going to try and put a covering bowl around the back. I here, don't mate. think he wants to be short, that's for sure. Yeah, this is a good bowl. Is it going to stop the... Yeah, he stopped yeah, nicely. Stop. That's, uh, that's only a foot and a half off, off the, the ditch. ditch, and that's a really good bowl. Yep. Close here. He's just going to slide by. Well, that's that's handy bowl there, though. It is, because you can... Now, you, if you sit, sit the shot bowl, you can yeah. make... Two in a measure, most likely three. If yep. you get the jack now, you can make two with that sort of weight. Yeah. G'day, Owen. How are you? From Saskatchewan in Canada. Ah. Owen Wright. I think our uh, Scottish viewers would be uh, sleeping by now, wouldn't they? Or? Nah, they'd still be up. Well, they don't go to bed over there. <laughs> There's oh, the scoreboard. There we go. Well done, There's Robbie. There's the scoreboard. Chugan, um, Chugan, Chugan. Absolutely Look brilliant. Look at that. All the information Hell you want well, can be updated well. as it all happens. Yeah. Very professional. 
absolutely unbelievable. So we now, just got to look down there. What a great bowl. Yes. I mean, he's now covered that trail to that bowl as well. Owen says they're still in the snow over there, mate. So. Uh, <laughs> 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 okay. Now, Grant needs to sit the shot bowl. He needs to touch oh, the jack or one of the other. Yeah, probably, yeah. He, he really only needs a metre yeah, of weight. Yeah. To play it right, he needs a metre of weight. Right. Clean bowl, no jack. Yep. Not badly pointed here. He's played this very well. If, just if he gets to the pocket, he just hasn't got the weight. Oh. Yeah, the line was perfect. Yeah, absolutely. Well, that should be a good guide for Grant. He's just got to miss that bowl. With about a meter of weight. Well, he needs weight on this now because he has tightened his line. He has, yeah. And I the worry is he hasn't got the weight. He's got his opponent's bowls coming up into the hair. Ooh, ooh, oh, no, it's okay. Well, he's actually opened it up a little he bit. Has. But the only thing they've got to be wary of is they've only got the one bowl in amongst four. You know what I mean? So yeah, that's what they've got to be a little bit wary of now. It'd probably be safer for them to play that on the backhand with a bit of weight than play on the forehand. With the forehand, with the swing that they're getting on that hand, mm. it's more than more than easy to take that uh, second shot of theirs yeah, out of the head. to play that shot now with, with your bowl, you'd yeah. have to just play full draw weight, try to roll it once or once twice, twice, no more, because yeah. if you get your own, you stay. 100%, mm. 100%. Now, but this bloke here's got a bowl before you get to have a go. That's probably, yeah. That's the and problem. And he, he can play that same sort of shot too with his own bowl coming up. Well, he'd be looking to sit that bowl out of the head. Oh, mate. yeah. Yeah, and a good line on it too. Yeah. Now he can get this front bowl, or he can get the blue bowl, or he can get his own. That's a really well played, but yeah. good weight. He's made it very difficult oh, now. Very, boy. very difficult. That's a great bowl there by Ted. Absolute superb He's bowl some there. crackers, mate. hasn't he? Hasn't he what? Mm. He's really uh, been... Probably the consistency has, yeah. been, has been the thing, mate. Probably the consistency. For sure. He didn't rush at that. He played good weight. Right, yeah. Whether he got the front bowl, whether he cut a bit more and got the, the shot out of it, he's played that perfectly. Yeah. It's a very hard shot now. He's either got to try and smack it, but he's got to be careful. When you've got one bowl on the head, things can happen. Oh. Ooh. Oh. Any more of that bowl, he had his hand <laughs> out of, uh, straight out the Clean head. as a whistle. Clean as a whistle. <laughs> I don't want to call bad luck early. No, but no. There's a, yeah, it's pretty free now, I suppose. Yeah. Well, now they've just got to look at um, beating that, that wing bowl, really, and you'd be pretty close to being in the count. Yeah. I think the call was holding two, yeah. and he's, he's put the fingers down and said, might only be one. Mm. Well, okay. Put it this way, if he can play that same way to go... Although he doesn't really want to upset the head. Yeah. Because says the jack is sitting right on the bowl. Yep. Well, if you're going to play it... Just see that group of five or six people there. They walk past the entrance up here. They've walked to that gate down there. Now they're walking around the front where they won't get into, <laughs> and they've just walked, and everyone's following that female in front, and she's leading them astray here. Oh, see, we need a doorman. Yeah, need a doorman out there, mate. Or a gateman. <laughs> yeah, he definitely is, Jamie. That's a pretty much... Ah, oh, Serena. Hello, Serena. And how are the girls going? How's Nettie Girl and Adela? How are they going? Hope they had a good day. Did you see the turtles? No, they couldn't see. They're going to go tomorrow and see them, apparently. See them, are they? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, <laughs> missed, missed your call this morning, Serena. We were putting up cameras and doing all those blakey jobs we do early in the morning, unfortunately. <laughs> well, I'm sure you, you can have a swim somewhere. Plenty of beaches in Hawaii, they tell me. <laughs> oh, I've heard there's one or two. <laughs> yeah, one or two. <laughs> so I'm led to believe. Well, we see there's a win over there to the Chugan. Yes, the Chugan. They've had a, a uh, win on all win rinks. On, on all rinks, I mean, by the way. Yeah. So congratulations to uh, Chugan winning um, Division 3 and to the runners-up, of course, which is um, Helensvale. Yes. So Chugan get $4,000 and the runners-up get $2,000. Nice bit of folding stuff. Yes. A couple of drinks in that one. 
Yes. Soft drinks I'm talking Soft about. Soft drinks, of yeah, course, yeah, mate. Responsible Plenty of lemonade. Service of drinking of alcohol, we always state that. Okay, what's going to happen? Yeah, g'day, John. Mate, this afternoon, mate, there will be uh, Mermaid got done yesterday morning, first up. Unfortunately, uh, John, as you're fully aware, is that this year under the Bowls Link system... Michael, bang! Got it, killed. Good hit. And that's a great bowl by Michael Keegan. Never look like It's Messi. up to the managers to put the scores in. And unfortunately, last night, out of the whole day, out of 21, uh, 21 games or something, we only had seven managers put the scores in. Oh, really? But I can tell you right now is that um, Broad Beach beat um, Mermaid Beach first up yesterday morning. And uh, this afternoon, the Division 1 game will be Broad Beach versus Helensvale. That'll be a cracker. Be a crack of a it game. certainly will be. Yeah, so there's nothing there, John, but it's uh, beyond our control when the managers did, mate. They, we were asked, they were asked to put the, their form through, put the scores up and do everything, but unfortunately yesterday uh, when they got beaten, they just all went home. Tomorrow morning, early boat. Okay. Fair enough. Cheers, John. Ah, cheers, mate. Yeah, some, mate, cracking games. Good thing was you had uh, Scotty Chamberlain and Tazzy playing onions. Oh, you, had oh. some, you had some, you had some talent down there. I'm telling you. Certainly. I sat there. I sat and watched uh, watched Division One for quite a while. It was incredible bowls. Absolutely incredible. Absolutely uh, fantastic. Um, just. And I want to see a photo, uh, Serena, of uh, the girls riding a dolphin's back, please. <laughs> and you and Tony <laughs> not a bad starter here from Grant that's a good starter that's what's needed well I keep saying it but there's plenty of ends to go I know eight behind but you've got to string a couple of ends together in a row get back in the game I mean uh, score wise on the other two rinks there's only a few shots in it three behind three behind so, that was a great reply. Absolute brilliant reply. Now, Grant. He's actually changed. Hmm, I wonder why. I don't know why. Anyway, his weight was good. I would have liked to see him stay on that hand, but anyway. Hmm. So, Helensvale holding shot. Not far off the jack at all. Looks like about an inch or maybe even less. Right on the money. Helensvale up on all rinks here. Eight on this one and three on the other two. Plenty of ends to go. I'd suggest the, uh, the other final we've got over there between... Um, Chugan and Helensvale. Chugan have won that fairly comfortably. Lots of uh, lots of folding stuff to be had for players today. Alcoholic beverage or two to celebrate. Is All that right? Are right? Yeah. Oh my God. Yeah. We expect a drink off everyone here today. Yes. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Michael's oh, just offering you, Michael. us a nice glass of ice water. <laughs> <laughs> Beverly, hope you're enjoying the coverage. Plenty of uh, lots to watch today. Entertaining day, we hope, and I'm sure it will be. There's some great, great matches, matchups in this next one. I'll tell you now. In the next game, oh mate, there's some uh, cool. Oh. Oh. So Beverly, g'day Beverly. Great to have you on board, Bev. Watching from Ozcare. Good on you, yes. Bev. One of our regulars. Yeah, uh, John, uh, Robbie's just uh, just been handed a few of the hard copies then from yesterday, and uh, Robbie's just putting them on um, Bowls Link now. Um, John? Tell you what, He's not played an absolute away. cracker with his first one, and have a look at this, this for one. a second one. Oh, Ted. That's Reed. brilliant skipping. Uh, yeah. Absolutely brilliant skipping. Yeah, that's a great bowl there by Ted once again. Absolutely brilliant. 
There's hardly a target. And no. You're, and you're three down. Yeah, you've got to play the perfect bowl to get yeah, in there, exactly. really, Exactly. I mean, you, you've got to look at a little bit of full draw, draw right? Yeah. You, you've got to try and sit something and change it. But the chances are you could slide by the shot bowl and not yep. even get a result. Yep. That's ever so true. You can see Ozzy Moore just holding on to his lead over there. 19-16. Yes. And Ray Perkins just leading Nick 15-12. So pretty handy uh, all the way around, really, isn't it? Yes, there are. And uh, this is a this is a really hard head. They will oh, hard one to get into, mate, yeah. They will not want to fatten this head up at all. No. They'll just play, try and beat that wing bowl where he's just going by now. Anything behind's all good. Three shots is yeah. an absolute gem to hold here. It's a game breaker. Yeah. Somehow arrive to this and try and spit the jack out just a fraction to get it out of that group. Mm, it's not too he's far well away. He's well pointed here. Tell you what, will he get to this inside the back bowl? You know, that's a really good try. It's a great but bowl. But it's fourth shot. It's a great you know, bowl. It's right on line. Perfect bowl there by yeah, Green. Great effort. But there's no target. There's no wall to sit on. Yeah, and that's right too, mate. There's yeah. uh, it's only a one bowl target that's all, it. all the way along. You look at that and from look the at other this end, again for a bowl. And I tell you what, look at this for a it's bowl. It's going to come all the way to the centre line. Oh. Yeah, and look at that's fallen out. Look at that four bowls within a bowl of the jack, mate. And that's <laughs> that's still made it pretty hard to get into. Well, there's no too, target once there's again. No, yeah. There's nothing there. Whether uh, you have a speculator try and clear those front bowls out the road, yeah, or do you try and play the same weight again? Oh, I don't think he's got the weight. No, it looks like it's going to cut under the head. Yeah. I mean, you get on the mat and you look at that, and it's a daunting task. Yeah. You, you've got no target. You've got two bowls on the line covering the jack. Yeah. And you're four down. Yeah, that's that's the thing. See, that was mm. more a uh, a dead draw line. Yeah, for a, for a bit of an aggressive sometimes shot. Sometimes you know I, mean? so, yeah. I don't agree with it all the time, but I think just then a speculator to try and open not, the head up, open the head up, get those front the bowls, bowls out, out of the way. Yeah, make the head better than you found it. Yeah, give your skipper a chance to get in there. In there, yeah. yeah. I mean, Michael could play the perfect bowl, and and still not even get get there. Yes, yeah, true. He'd still be four down. Get a foot, get get within a, a foot of the jack and still yeah. before down. Okay, Ted on the mat at the moment. He will not be going. I would think not going near this. No, nah, you'd be just as you said, putting in a nuisance bowl somewhere. If he's going to go near it, he's got to be very accurate with his line. And he is very accurate. But he's going to give him something to you. Yeah, he's and that's him something probably to what he didn't want. Yeah, well, it's probably made it a bit better for him with it falling over though. Yeah. Thank you very much for those kind words, Brad. Brad Parker, I appreciate that, mate. It's been a uh, it's been a great morning, and I said one o'clock is the uh, is the next game. It should be an absolute cracker oh, of a game. Hellasvale versus Broadbridge. Have a quick lunch, and do not miss this game, game coming up. What game have we got, Robbie? We doing the pairs? Yes, yeah. So that'll be. Um, Who's playing that? Is Tassie playing that one? Yeah. Or? Yep. Oh, we must be doing the three bowl pairs then. That's funny because Scotty played the two by two by two yesterday with Tassie. Oh, okay. Oh. Well. It's a nasty head. Very nasty head. <laughs> yeah. There's possibilities. Anything online about a foot and a half out... He's pretty close. He is close too. If he rolls this, this yeah. I tell you what, he's only got to beat the blue bowl. He's got another Which one. Which he has oh done. Oh boy, oh he's boy. Done, he's drawn another one, that's, mate. So. That's brilliant bowls. Yeah. Good on you, Anne Marie. What's she on YouTube? Uh, hard one to get into here for Michael. Oh, 
He's got to get through the port. He's got yeah. to have good weight. Well, he's killed a few already, mate. He's I done know. pretty well. Ah, it's gone wide. Gone wide, yeah. yeah. He's going to drop a few this time. Yeah, he's he's five down there. Yep. Maybe five, maybe more. Yep. One, two, three, four, five. Five with that one. And a measure for six. Yep. Six. Six shots. Six. Well, yeah, handy yeah, pick up there, but gee whiz, that was a good head for Helen's it bowl. It certainly was. Mate, I mean, like there was I mean, no target, target at all. But the thing about it, though, like, look how close those bowls were, though, too. Oh. There's no target, because you said Boy. they were all down that line. There was four bowls within the bowl of the jack, jack yeah. on line. Yeah. It's, a, it's yeah. a nightmare. Yeah, like, I mean, every now and again, you dream about having ends oh like that, God. you know what I mean? But you could go down and make a target like that and, and yeah. not get within cooey of it yeah. four or five times in a row. No, dead right. I mean, I think maybe... I mean, you can't second-guess things, but it should have been probably opened up a little bit earlier. Early Those front yeah. bowls had to be gotten rid of. Well, as you said there previously there with one of the Grant's bowls, as you said, like sometimes you might not get shot, but you've got to leave the head in a better situation for the people coming yes. after you, don't you? you Give a clear, a clear look at it to, to yeah. Michael. Yeah. yeah. Well, that's sprung the game right open there. It certainly has. That's. Uh, have we added that on? That's the right score there, is it? 14, yeah. Yep. So 14 up, 3 up, and uh, they've jumped out there. Aussies jumped out to a to a six-shot lead. <coughs> Anyone's game, this, mate? Yeah. Business end? It certainly is. Now Grant. Beautiful weighted bowl once again there from Grant Ingham. I think Aussie just played a big bowl over there too. Oh, mate. Said not only a great bloke, Aussie, but just a great bowler with it, mate. Good look reply at this correction. Here. Have a look at this. Great correction. Are you going to get some chalk on it? Oh, oh, not quite. Good effort. Right on line. Yep. Very well played there. Once again, Gary, not too far away. He wouldn't mind sitting his own... Through a little bit. It's probably the best result he could have got with that weight. Mm. Down to the skips. Once again, Gary's got the one shot. Yep, right on line. Skips having a good chinwag going down there. Like they're, they're having a good chinwag mode. It's well, the, yeah. The, um, that's one thing about the Max Morris, the camaraderie between the players is exactly. absolutely first class. And look at the crowd in behind us, mate. Like, there's people it's here It's really everywhere. getting big too, isn't there's it? There's people yeah. here everywhere, which is really good to see this, you know. <coughs> At night, this place is absolutely brilliant. They open up the bifold doors. Yep. The crowd gets in. Unbelievable. And we're going to times it by two shortly. <laughs> yes, that's true too. Yes, there'll be another one down the uh, down the front there. Now, Ted, all of a sudden, not trying to, well, once again, as he should be, just going to start playing covering bowls now and just hold exactly his, right. his end of the bargain up, you know what I mean? I mean, it gets down to drop a one, get a one, drop yeah, a one, one burn get it a in, one. Yeah, you burn ends and, and the game's over then, basically. Yeah. I don't like to say that, but I'm, I'm sorry, but I think it might be. Six ends to go, 14 shots. Michael just a little bit wide with that one. Tell you what, Ted, yeah. very well pointed once again. Just trying to beat this bowl here at Grants. Exactly right. And he's done it absolutely brilliantly, mate. It's been <laughs> very, very consistent. Yeah. Boy, boy. And that once again just adds a little bit more pressure to uh, it does. to Michael, who has played seemingly well. He's actually he killed has. a couple well, of ends. Well, he's killed two or three ends. Three he's ends, played yeah. some really telling bowls. Yep. But it's like anything. When you're under that pressure... End after end after end, um, sooner or later. We're not robots. Yep. G 
Fugan are about to uh, finish another game over there. Well in front. They're up up on the on all games, so yeah, comfortable win to Chugan. Congratulations to Chugan. Mm. Right. Gary Hanno on the mat at the moment, holding yes. a couple of shots they are. As Brett was saying before, doesn't want to really fatten any target for No. Uh, you just uh you just play what you see there, but um I'm surprised he well he's actually played a yeah, that's a pretty... That's a nasty that's goal, actually. That's, <laughs> that is. <laughs> that's a bit of... Uh, it is. Yeah, okay, yeah. fellas, got this. <laughs> yeah. I mean, when you play a bad bowl and you go, clunk, oh, yeah. yeah well, yeah. <laughs> well Grant, if he's got the weight, which... I'd he needs sure. to have a fair bit to hold on this yeah. line. Yeah, yeah. He just missed it. Good attempt there by Grant, though. And there it's we about go. all he can do, mate. You know what I mean? There we go. Match Grant's bowls, all yep. the skip's asking for. They're holding two, one right on line. Yep. Match the bowls behind. Shut the game down, basically. Yep. Yeah. And again, just covering these two bowls that's here. That's it, yeah. That's a great bowl it's there by Gary. It basically splits the bowls. It's yeah, not, that's yeah. just a great bowl by Gary. It is. In other words, what are they saying? If you're going to get one, you're going to get one. That's you know it. What I mean? We're yeah. not going to give you any more than one. We, we drop a one, we burn an end, we move on, on to the on. next. Yeah. Oh, he's close here. Sit and start. What a good bowl. Great bowl well by done, Grant. Grant. And the shot. Well played. Very well played. Well, I think they'll be probably trying the same thing. Yep. <coughs> Except coming under that front bowl with a double chance. Roll the bowl up or sit the shot bowl. Well, I'd be looking at the overall score if it was me. I'd probably be in time just a dead draw on the backhand or yeah. exactly what you said, forehand, play through that front bowl of um, of Gary's and happy days, you know what I mean? Exactly, yeah. You've got a couple of options either hand, really, haven't you? you oh, know? for sure. But as you said, the main thing is they've, they've got that lead. You know, they have to do anything that's exactly silly. right. They can sit back. It's a bit like a golfer that's three in front playing the last hole. Yeah. You know what I mean? They just sit back and enjoy the walk, don't you? Exactly. You, know I mean? you play safe. Yeah. I only talk about golf because of was he playing. <laughs> 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 oh, dear. Some Sorry of our man. younger audience might know Ozzy, but I'll tell you what, he was one hell of a golfer in his day. Pro golfer. Pro, oh, yes. Um, oh. Champion guy. Yeah, it's pretty hard to get it out there, though. I see what Grant's saying. I know what he's, yeah. he's I, know, I see what Grant's, <coughs> Grant's saying. Like, they've got one, two, three, four, five bowls out there, but pretty hard to get the edge of that yeah. kitty to get it over the, there, the mate. The chances are that it'll go wrong on you and yeah. it'll flick along the line instead of going there. Yeah. And you'll be, instead of being one up, you'll be two down. But Aussie, uh, Aussie, but um, Ted <laughs> still got a bowl left there and too, mate. And that is the big problem. And, and that's the problem, mate. He's on know? fire. I mean, look, you're behind by quite a few. Um, the safer shot to play this, if you want to get aggressive with it, is under the under the bowl, sit the bowl on the line, yep. and you'd probably lay three shots. Yeah. But once again, Ted's got a bowl to come. That's the bottom line, mate. And I'd, I'd back Ted to draw something mm. in between those, oh, yeah. those bowls. I mean, there's five bowls there if you get it back far enough, mate. You know what I mean? Yeah. I mean, if they could, if they could get a three, mm. there's a slight light at the end mm. of the tunnel. But I think the way, the way to get a three is to come under the red bowl. Yep. On that hand, yes. Try yep. and sit the second shot and stay for three. Mm. And that's what he's trying. Mm. Too, too yeah, wide. Yeah, too wide, yeah. He may have flicked that in, but not quite. Yeah. I think they'll take the one. Oh, no, sorry. Ted, as we said, took another bowl to play anyway. Yeah, and he's got two nice catches. If he wanted to play this shot, he, yeah. could, he could as well. Yep. But as you said, he could, you can do a full draw. Yep. Or if you wanted to get aggressive, he's got two bowls a metre behind the jack. Comes under that, sits the shot or touches the jack. He could play this shot with minimum weight. If he doesn't get it, move on. One down. It's not going to harm. All right. He's trying for the dead draw. J 
just a little bit wide, mate. That's all. His weight was very, oh. very good. Look at that. Yeah. Not far away. Okay, so that's uh, one. He's, he's got to look at this shot. He has to try and get this shot. If he sits the second shot, he can make three. Yeah. They need a number now. Yeah, but Ted's put a bowl out there now too, mate. Yeah. Think, you know what I mean? Yeah. So, you know. But I mean, okay, what's he... Yeah, I'm, I'm talking under the red. Yep. Same, yeah. Sit, sit that and hopefully not touch Jack and make three. Oh, okay, we're going to draw for two. I, mm. Wants to stay off this bowl, though. Yeah. I must prefer what the Yeah, I, I think you've got to sometimes... Take risks. Yeah, when you need a number. Yep. I mean, uh, Helen's Vale won't mind that, dropping a one. No, no one wants to drop sure. a one, I suppose. Yeah, but when but you're 14 in front, front and yeah. you're running out of ends... You have to, mate. Yeah. You're Every now and again, you just got to yeah, do it. exactly. don't need to play into danger. You don't need to chase a score. Mm. So just the one to the Broadbeach combination. Yeah, so it's, uh, what, five ends to go. Yep. <clears throat> 13 in front, five ends to go. And they've finally got the short end. <laughs> well, we'll see if it's a good or a bad thing. Yep. See Ray Perkins just picked up a one there. That throws him out to a four shot lead. Yep. And um, Ozzy Moore up by four shots also too. Mm. So oh, uh, actually, yeah, six shots against Peter. Yep. Yeah. Yep. That's a nice starter. Very nice starter. Yeah, great ball once again by Gary. He said mm. he's setting up his head very nicely for his team. He is. I mean, I've been boasting up how well the skip's playing, but sometimes the lead lets you yeah. play well. Yes, that's and true that too. When your lead's giving you very, a lot of options or you're holding shots on the crossovers, crossovers it, yeah. it makes you feel very confident. Yep, that's true. He's just trying to sit on this blue, and the skip says, you have played it perfectly. What yep. good leading. Very good lead balls. Yeah. Yep. Absolutely perfect, mate. I mean... He's really set the heads up very, very nicely. He has, yeah. Yeah, they've played well. A good Trina team. Hastings says, go Hawks from Tina, Trina and Joel. Okay. Good to have all our viewers. Certainly. I tell you what, Michael, though, he's not going to be too far away from this. He's very, very Close. good on the whole. <laughs> oh, <mate>. oh, dear. <laughs> I thought he was going to get a little straighten off that front one and sit there for shot. But uh, as I said, they haven't had much luck. No. But then again, you take nothing away from this uh, Helensvale combination. They really have been absolutely superb here. Yeah. Uh, it's been a very good all-round performance from them. Yep. Handy bowl. Okay. Lone couple. <coughs> it's just that subtle change in this handing on the yep. ditch side that was swooping in a mile early, and the wind just wind. changed the yeah. fraction. Now, Ted. Yes, not okay. badly pointed at all. Played this very, very well. The weight's well. the key to the shot, and he's played it brilliantly. Yeah. Right on line. Mate, that makes it pretty hard now. It does. It, it I mean, you've you got to get it probably aggressive now and, and just... you got to open it. Y you do. I mean, the thing um, about it, because it takes the vision away from the kitty from you from the other end. And that's just it. And psychologically, that knocks you around a little bit at times, doesn't I it? I mean, you've got know? five ends. Yep. You're 13 behind. Yep. I think sometimes you've got to just... Not play your normal. Be aggressive. Yes. I mean. And this afternoon we've got a great game in the over 60s with, again, Broadbeach versus the Helens Vale Hawks. And, of course, we've also got uh, Division 2 
which will be the boys from Benoa up against Tweed Heads. So yes. There should be a couple of cracking games. And we must say congratulations to Chugan. They have won the Division 3 um, pennant. Yeah, oh, sorry, well pennant. The, uh, Max Morris, Max Sevens. Morris, yes. Absolutely fantastic. Very well played. By Chugan. That's a good bowl there also. Too. Grant was a bit unlucky with his first bowl. Yeah, he, he got was the much. second shot out, but he never got any movement at all. Yeah. Well, it's this, this still like... Um, this is very similar to most carpets. Even though it draws well and it draws both hands, if you're going to drive, you've still got to go straight at it, mate. You, you know do. Mate? because You can't get play that metre head through no. the head shot. You, because the rationale of, of playing that on the carpet, on any carpet, is probably 2 out of 10. Yeah. 2 out of 10. You've got to... You got to back off the weight just a bit. I mean, like yep. I, I remember the first. I yep. was I was actually playing with Bester up at Pine Rivers the first time he played up there. Yep. But he was driving that quick that his bowls were moving out. He was missing bowls. You couldn't believe it. He, he could keep missing, but he was missing by a bowl. His bowls were drifting out. Yeah. Just that one bowl halfway down. Halfway down. Yeah. And um, mate, he's off to uh, Musgrave very shortly. Yes. Good day, Adrian Johnson. Let's go the Hawks. Bass off to, uh, yep, he's off to... Um, Certainly is. They had a big farewell for him. and uh, On Thursday afternoon? Yes, yes. No, I actually rang Ryan and thanked him very much on behalf of the Gold Coast Food District District and uh, said, mate, great job, well done, and uh, see you in a few weeks' time at Muzzy. Yes. Yeah. You know. Well, they're to singles. Uh. <laughs> Evelyn took us. Ted to be her skip, please. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think there'll be a lot of people asking Ted to be this. Uh, he's a pretty, good, a pretty good player. He now, certainly Michael's, is. Michael's going to rattle second shot. Oh, I got his own. Take his own. That oh, is. Yeah, that is not good. It just happens, doesn't it? That I is mean. not good. Because you'd be a couple down now by, yeah. the, by the looks of it. I so. suggest at least two. Yep. And plenty of room. And you don't have to create a target. You can draw to beat the Michael's bowl on the other hand, which he's doing. Anything can... Oh, he's got to go right back. Okay. Yeah, mate, he's going back, mate. Yeah. He's, he's like... One, once again, it, he doesn't... They're probably holding it. at least three shots, if yeah. not four shots there, mate. So, it's staying on, so... Mm. That's a good bowl. Once again by Ted. Very, uh, very well thought out. It's a one bowl target. I mean. Well, w you know, we're looking at it from be from behind Michael, and I'm telling you, it looks ugly. It does. <laughs> it does look ugly, mate. From front know. on, it looks yeah. like it's almost a resting touch. But I know it's not. It's not. No, there's a couple of feet through it. So, But it's possible to get it out without even moving the jacket. But he's still going to be two down, though, I reckon. Yeah. Yeah. Just oh. to... Yeah. yeah. Well... He's going to we'll be see what it is. It's going to be a couple down. Yep. Three down, maybe. Yeah, it looks like three from here. <laughs> and this is a sad thing. Ted's got another bar. Well, he's only going to get one. within two foot of this to get another one. That's another counter there. Yeah. Minimum of three, maybe four. Not too sure what that was. One, two, they didn't. Ted. Ted, isn't it? Yeah. Ted. Three shots there. Three, Three shots. To Helensvale. Um, yes, Jamie, we are live streaming that, mate. We will be at Muzzy. Over Easter. The sad thing about it, this year's going so fast, and there's one thing I do know, is that once you get to Easter, it's only a couple of weeks and it's Christmas. Oh, Jesus, mate. <laughs> and Easter's only a couple of weeks away, mate. Don't forget what happens in June. Well, June we got, what was it, the Australian Open or well, something? No, like? no, Australian Open. Um, June the 11th. June the 11th. Yeah. Yes, the Mouldy Disabilities. No. Yes. My birthday. Your birthday too. <laughs> Jeez, mate. That's the trouble with you, young blokes. You're too greedy. <laughs> I don't want any more birthdays. <laughs> it was it was great to hear that um the Gold Coast is is, is um, doing the uh the nationals. Oh yeah, mate. Yeah. yeah. Tweed heads. Mm hmm Tweed heads will do a superb job down oh, there. Yeah. They will do a superb job, mate. 
one of the true great venues of lawn bowls, in my it personal is. opinion. They run very well. Yeah, mate. Great team down there. Lee Timon and his crew, and uh, Gerard and Wayne. Uh, yes. Everywhere you look, you've got um, great combinations. Very supportive of bowls, the, the board yeah. down there, and, and, and the, the whole environment down there yeah, makes yeah. for good bowlers. Has been for mm. years, mate, you know what I mean? It's, it's always been this very, very well-run club, mate. Uh, looking forward to uh, watching some of that, mate. Mm. Very much so. Be some superb bowls played. The going down there as a supporter, though, because... Um, Bowls Australia. Bowls Australia, yeah. Do the live streaming. That's not to October anyway, so no, it's that's a fair right. way off. It's a long way off. A couple yeah. of weeks away. <laughs> You'll be a year older then, too. I will be. Eh? God, blimey. Tell you what. I'll be nearly 40. You're joking. Hey. Oh, God, I remember when you used to be 21. Yeah, eh? unbelievable. That was only last year. 40, I <laughs> wish. <laughs> 40 in dog yeah, years. Mate, you got to remember, mate. <laughs> We do control your birth certificate at <laughs> <the> district office. <laughs> <laughs> Great uh, lead bowls once again. Um, this this combination's been very very consistent. They've played very good bowls. Well, Ted's Ted's conversion shots and his draw shots have been um, mm. probably a telling factor. Like they Mike, have been. Mike was played some superb bowls he has, too, mate. But, um, he really has. Every time they look like dropping a number, Ted will come in there and yeah. draw the shot or get second shot. So you know, Absolutely. shuts him down very quickly. Yeah. Uh, once again, he's going to be pretty close to the target. Just going to miss it. He's actually played yeah. something a little bit narrow, I don't believe it. Yeah, but he's oh. he's put that in a pretty good <laughs> home, hasn't he? You know what I mean? He really has. That's good catchment area. They want to play weight through that. That's, yeah, happy so, days. Yeah. And basically, as we were saying before, Brett, that's what he's got to do. He doesn't want to leave a target that can be no, hit or anything. He's any, just, um, you're going to say, okay, if you want a shot, dead draw it. Yeah. Any group and of he bowls has. he's going to play one has. into it. Yeah, that's a good bowl. He's probably thinking to himself, well, that's the last time I do that then. <laughs> Sick to death at playing, Mr. Nice Guy. <laughs> <laughs> now, did he go out a little bit wider? I don't know whether he... He has got the run to count, though, mate. Ooh. That was a very good try. Once again, it's, a, it's another bowl in the head. Well, I reckon that shot, mate. Got to be close. Isn't I it? reckon it is shot. Oh yeah, no, you're well, right. I just looked over the screen. It's just in front of us here. It is yeah. shot. Now, Michael, is he going to sit this bowl? Don't tell me he's actually going to. He did. Oh, there you, there go. you go. All right. Now, well played. Absolutely beautiful bowl there from. Um, he's gone Michael. through a few holes and a few <laughs> he has, mate. Few things. He has. As you do when you're trying to chase a target, mate. I couldn't agree more. <laughs> He the finally got one. The world's against you when you're a few shots, shots behind the game of bowls. Yep. <laughs> well done. <laughs> the other two rinks in this game are uh, down by four. Yep. Both of them, so. Hey, it's been, uh, been fantastic. Yeah, good weighted bowl there from uh, yeah, Grant. I'd love Gary. Would love to add one here. Okay, well the Hawks have won the triple. Yes, Aussie Moore. Yes, Aussies won. Aussie Moore uh, combination there. Now Grant's well down here. He doesn't want to move the jack too far. Just a tad's all right. Oh, that's great. That's bowl, very mate. good. Now they're all on line. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, good effort. Good work by Broadbeach over there too. Great game. Wasn't much in it by the looks of it. So uh, no congratulations for, uh, to oh, I don't know what the to Aussie Allen and Cole. Cole Pike is the chairman of the club. Oh, good reply here. He's just caught the front bowl, so yeah, they're I'm holding like three, Broady. Yep. All online. So no target. And that's the bottom line, isn't it? There's no target there for them. Yeah. Now, yeah, Grant. Now, he doesn't look like he's got too bad a weight here, and the line's not bad. He's got to get past this front bowl. Okay. Well, it's not going to hurt. Well, it's going to make sure. it a bit harder for Ted. He's got to be a little bit wider now, doesn't he? You yeah. Know what I mean? 
I mean, he'd always had to be around it anyway. He pro uh, probably wanted that half a bowl to the left-hand side. Okay, well... The call is uh, from Brody is uh, holding four. Yep. But the big problem is Ted's got two bowls to play. <laughs> yes. And with an open draw, if he wanted to, mm. I think he'd be pretty deadly. Yep. Yeah. He'd back himself. The way he's been bowling, he would back himself to, to draw a second shot at minimum. Yep. Oh, hello. Hang on. He's under this front bowl. He is, yeah. But he's going to cut. Well, that's just proven he's human. But he's got another bowl to play. Mate, well, it has proved one thing, exactly what you just said. <laughs> <laughs> Ted Reed, you are human. We just get our mate here in the... What's this? Gary. Okay, big bowl. Big Very bowl big bowl up. here from Michael. He would love to draw another counter with this. Yep. Just to put that little bit of thought into the mind of the opposing. He hasn't got the weight, mate. No, he hasn't. Has not got the weight. That's a shame because he's got a beautiful line on yeah, the bowl too. Yeah, he has too. too. Yep. Which has given Ted a bit of uh, pep because well, he won't be narrow again. And he I've is. given him the death call because he is now, and he's actually on to that, which means they now got definitely got four. Yeah, drawing for five. <laughs> drawing Michael. for five. He needs. Oh, he's put his head straight down. Mm. Which means he is heavy. Unless he sits full, this back bowl. Oh. No, yeah, probably still got four. Yeah, four shots to Brody. Yep. He's kicking himself there. Four shots, yeah. For actually That's a good pick up there from, it is a uh, great from Michael pick up. and Grant. Michael's probably saying to himself, I should have drawn two shots there to make yeah, it six. Six, but, yeah. You know, you do what you can do. Well, that's dead right, mate. Yeah. Oh, uh, handy pick up to uh, Broad Beach. But, uh, yes. I said they've uh, won the triples over there by... Uh, yes, they have. They've Aussie Moore and... Cole and um, Alan. And they haven't got many ends to go here in this uh, in this pairs, have they? No, this is the 16th end of 18 of ends. 18, yeah, right. And the uh, other pairs is 24 ends, the same as the two bowl triples. And traditionally, as always, it's normally the traditional pairs are normally the last off, even though they're only playing 18 ends. But crossing over... Crossing uh, over, crossing yeah. over, and yeah. killing a couple of ends. And exactly. Mm. All of that type of stuff. Okay, so we see Gary there. Grant just running a little bit through the head there. So it, uh, great, great start, start here. here from Look at Gary this. once again. Lovely bowl. Played it beautifully. Mm. Tensed up. Going either way. Uh, still back in a Helen's Vile victory, though. Now, Grant, has he got the kitty? He oh, has. he needs it, and he got it. There you go. Well played, mate. Well done. Well played. Well, you've got to fight to the end. Yep. Okay, Gary changed his hand, of course. Not a bad effort. Line's yep. perfect. I mean, it was not a bad change-up, really. He wasn't yep. going to be short of that. Grant will be laying two shots there. Plenty of room for the second shot anyway. Yep. Well, I know he, he's just advertising uh, 
He's advertising Helen Vale's shirt. Yeah, he's doing a good job of it. <laughs> good bowl here from Michael too. Yes, that's a nice bowl. Beautiful weight. Yep. Well, it's another counter. There we go. Okay, not badly pointed here. Very, very close here from Ted. Have a look at this bowl. That's a ripper. Very good bowl. We're getting, we're getting so used to it, the crowd's not even reacting hardly. <laughs> Brilliant bowls. Good combination, this pair's combination. They've, they've supported each other well. He would love to sit fat on his head. Oh, he's oh, just fallen in. What a bowl by Ted, though. Oh, right? yeah. Once again. I mean, there was a murmuring of clapping, but they're getting used to it, <laughs> see? That's, they're, they're not appreciating how well he's yeah, bowling. Yeah. Because they're getting used to it nearly for yeah. second hand or something. Nah. <laughs> I would suggest that... Uh, well, they've got the backward anyway, so they don't really need to. Yeah. There we go. There's the call. Yep. That bowl is probably well, centered. it's a pretty hard one to get out. I mean, the only way you're going to get that out is on the forehand. But exactly. Then, you've got to, and it, uh, if that's touching, the kid is going to come back to uh, Gary anyway. So, yes, the know, only bowl behind. The only two bowls behind, behind now, both theirs. Both theirs, mate, yeah. you know what I mean? And if that's a toucher, which I'm pretty sure it is. And that, it is, yeah. You know, that'll go with it anyway. So, yeah, and you know. there's only one place it can go. I, yeah. I doubt whether, well, we'll see. I don't know whether you could get it. Yeah, it's not quite a toucher. It's, yeah. not, it's not quite a But on the so. angle they're going to play it, I can't see them... Um, yeah. Not punching the jack back. Yep. I mean, you'd have to really smack that with big weight to yeah. get it out clean. Oh, that's and, for sure. And you'd have to only get an eighth of an inch of it. Yep. Chances are it's going to go back. Good to see Tweed Heads turning up, mate. They're coming out in force. Good yes. To see. Bit of support. Bit of support coming in. Okay. Grant. Grant Ingham. Now, it comes down to his weight because he has got a He's pretty good line. very, very close. If w At worst, he needs to get the front bunch out of the road. That's a good try. Yeah. That was a good try. Yep. Now, what you really need to do is... Oh, he's a bit tight with this one. So do you back yourself or do you put a backward in and let your skip play the shot? Nah... Uh, Try and do it for the skip. Yeah. Because the weight he just played yep. would get the jack probably back to the ditch, and that's where they need it because the two against them are only probably two metres behind the head. So if you're going to play it, you need to play it with ditch weight minimum. Yep. On that hand. Oh, OK. I should have playing across the head. Oh, okay. I thought he might have just played the same again. Oh. Yeah, that's what happens. It came out a bit bad. Yeah, changed hands, and I think he possibly should have played on, on the same hand he just played. Yep. I mean, they can just keep... Um, they can keep loading up the backward now. Anything... I mean, it, it's almost no way in the world. <laughs> yeah, well, that's made it pretty hard now. Yeah, that you're going to get it without moving the jack. No. And the only bowls behind the head are theirs. Are it's theirs. all, yeah. it's all yeah. Helen's bowling behind the head. Yeah. And that last bowl has taken that forehand shot away, which. <coughs> yeah, it has. Yeah, you got to, you really got to get it with your first. Well, as I said, but if you can hit it and get it back to the ditch yeah yeah then you got a chance to draw but then you got ted with two bowls drawing to it mm. oh 
All right, Michael. Mm. Oh, oh, that was what was... That was the worst result for The worst result Because it's only get. gone two metres. And they're about three down. Mm. Well, mm. you've got to forget about it. Well, he's made it even. There's, there is a track in there on the there forehand. Is, there is a track, yeah. But it's uh, you've got to play really the perfect bowl to get well, through there and that's miss... That's the problem. On both hands, miss everything, you've got yeah. opponent's bowls coming in. Yeah. But anyway... Well, Ted, big problem is Ted's got two balls. Yeah, mate. And uh, I'd be disappointed in him if he doesn't count with this one. Yep. Oh, Ted, has he got the grass? Well, he has it, but he's got a mile of room He's to got draw. a mile of room Look to get through. Yeah. That's I mean, what I say, but he's going to keep running. Oh, he is too. Look at that. Wow. Yeah. That really dragged through. Yeah. I don't know whether he's going to try to get the jump. No, I don't think so, He's mate. got a draw to save, yeah. and the only port he's got is on his forehand. Yep. I yeah, mean, it's possible on both hands, but I mean... Yeah. I think you've got to play forehand, have you? Or are you gonna, is he going to try and get around those short yeah. bars? Yeah, OK. Oh, well. No, you can't. He's not playing for the jack, surely. Mm. That wasn't the call, was it? No. No. He I think he is. Oh, no. Oh, well. Sydney or the bush, because... Uh, and those balls are going to count still. Yep. Unlucky with that one yeah. there, mate. He was, but he yeah. tried to get two of them. Yeah. He was never going to get Kitty. No. Too hard to get into there, no, mate. So it's a pretty hard one to draw there, too, mate. You know what I mean? So oh, certainly was. This could be another four shot. Well, here. I'd, I'd be thinking it is one, two, three. This one will count. It's only got to stop. It's only got to stop within a meter and a half. And there, it's another count of one, two, three, four. Yep. I don't know. I they think they're shaking hands, mate. Yeah, I think it's all over. You don't need to play. It. No. Two ends no. to go, and you're, you're going to drop a four here. That's. Yep. Uh, it blows it right out. And I think they might even be looking at five if they... Yeah, I think it is, yeah. mate. I think we'll take a four if you want to give up now. If you, if you don't, we're taking a five. So yeah. a, go a good win there. That was a very strong combination. They played well together. They did, mate. And take nothing away from Grant, no. from Grant and, no. um, and Michael. They uh, played some very telling bowls, did. mate. So that was uh, five by the looks of it. Mm. So... Um, Yep, thirty to thirteen. So. Yeah, so that's a uh, that's a win for two rings to uh, yep. to Helen's file. Uh, well done. So uh, the others will probably just play back and um, call yeah, it quits, mate. You know what I mean? Yeah, there's no need for them to um, if they no. They well, they could play back and yeah. Yep. No. Nah. So congratulations to Helensvale. I think this is the fourth year that they won it, or the third, third or fourth year. Oh, okay. The third year it should be. So it should be the third year that they're playing it. So did so they win it Pikey, down at Tweed Heads when I was? Pikey, um, Pikey won it here last year. I remember that. The and the year 60s. before at Tweed. Or? At, yeah, I think Southport won it the year before. So. Um, oh yeah. Yep. I think I think Helensvale won another division. I think it may have been uh, Division Two or Division One. I'm not too sure, mate. But uh, which Pikey was in? I remember Pikey. I know he's telling me that he's going to have three. He's going to have three gold medals after day. He told me this morning. <laughs> 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 I said, "Good to see a man loaded full of confidence, there, Cole." <laughs> uh, of course, Cole, the uh, chairperson of uh, Club Helensvale. So the next game. Live streaming will start at one o'clock. One o'clock. Yep. Broadie Helen's fail. Mate, yep. And what are we doing? The two ball pairs or the three ball pairs? Two by two by two by two by two. Okay. Uh, it should be uh, very similar quality. I, I think it'll be a very, very good game. Yep. 
because Brody had to fight hard just to get into the finals, didn't they? They, they, they were, did, mate. Yeah. They did. They did. <laughs> well done, Michael. So we're just watching the end of this game here. As I said, they should pull it up, uh, Trumps, after this uh, after this end, by the looks of things. Yeah, no. I think they'll finish here. And it's, um, yeah, they'll come back this way. Two rings are up, yeah. so that's that's the finish of that. Yeah, they can't do any more, mate. No, so. they can't, no. Yeah. No. That's the end of that. Once yep. you get the two rings up. As you said, if you can get a rink each and a draw, then it'll go to uh, aggregate score. Yep. Uh, just waiting for the uh, boys and girls to finish this one so we can get the table out there and do the presentation. We streaming the presentation? Or? I don't know, mate. So I don't know. I will just come back on here at one for the big game. Yeah, I think yeah, so. Yeah, I think so too. I think so too. No need to stream it. The uh, breakdown for this um, final. The breakdown, right. Okay. Over 60s. Winner, $3,000. Mm -hmm. Runner up, 1500 Losing semi-finalists yesterday afternoon, 750 and losing quarter-finalists yesterday morning, 500 Okay. Division 3 is 4000 to the winners, 2000 to the runner-up, 750 to the uh, two semi-finalists yesterday afternoon that got beaten, and the losing uh, quarter-finalists in the morning times four is $500. So, um, yes, a good Now, the rationale of what we do, as I said, people say, how come Division 3 gets 4000 and grand and the over-60s get... More teams? Get um, 3,000. That's it. Division 3 has a lot more teams. For sure. And, exactly. Um, and, of course, when you go to the Division 1, which we're showcasing this afternoon, it's 2,500 to the winners. And uh, 1,000 of the runners-up and losing semi-finals yesterday both get $500. Mm. So. Bigger the field. The yeah. Yeah, that's right. They're shaking hands now, so... Yeah, it's a good win there to uh, Helensvale combination, mate. So congratulations, Helensvale, on your uh, on your victory there. So very well done. So uh, we've just got to go out and... Yeah, so we'll sign off, Robbie, will we? Yep. Yeah, OK. Uh, we'll, uh, See you all at 1 o'clock. Have some lunch. Do not miss this next game. It's going to be a cracker. It's going to be a cracker. So on behalf of the Gold Coast Tourism Media Team, a big thank you to Mr Brett... Clifford for being here this morning because our fearless leader, Mr. Robbie Allen, we've just got to go and get ready for the presentation. We'll be back on air at one o'clock, ladies and gentlemen. Enjoy your bowls and support your club. Thank you very much.